being there, like you said, like growing up to seeing that, that was always a dream. Like yeah. I literally would play that. Like that's like like when girls want to play princess, I was playing accept the award at sure. BET. Mm, damn, Q, baby, you did that. What up? What up? What up, man? It's your boy Shy Shy versus Everybody Podcast, Voice of Detroit, motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy, Shy vs. A-Bike Podcast, episode goddamn 211. We got special guests in the building. I reached out to this young lady back in 2020, and she hit me back in 2024. <laughs> she a rapper, a young tender. <laughs> we got Brie Bands in the building. Hey, what's up? You all right? What's up, what's up? Thank you for having me. What's up, for sure. So that tell me a lot. That tell me first, that tell me that you get a lot of DMs. <laughs> DMs stay busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What's the... What's the what, Wildest DM you got from somebody that you had to look twice, like what the fuck? Huh? You know them 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 invisible mm -hmm. images pop up in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Good morning, Queen pictures. Yes, yeah. hey, you get the yeah. But in advantage, you be like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was ghost PP, I guess you know. I know. <laughs> yeah, I, do do it. Like I know it don't work, but like do niggas be niggas be thinking that that's gonna work? You send a quick piece pic and shit like. I I think they do want to give you a little sneak peek, like you know, like, yeah. let me see, like look. For sure. so you can, you can kind of get an idea if you want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you'd be like, well, I'm no, it don't change nothing, though. No, for sure. Yeah, it don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, that bitch, like, good morning, queen. But uh, <laughs> we start every episode, though, with salute me while I'm here, not peace picks and shit, but <laughs> and we start every episode with salute. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them flowers. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going ahead and showing them that love while I can still receive it. But it can't be somebody that you close with, like if you're in a relationship, your mom and dad, or brothers and sisters, you got somebody you want to go ahead and show some love to? Um, yes, yes, I do. Um, I want to show some love to my drama teacher. She did pass away back in high school. Okay. Um, during my tenth grade year, but um, she was like my my motivation as far as like really pushing myself and putting myself out there and being risky. Mm -hmm. Like, cause I always was like a real modest, like no, no, no. And she was sure. like. Do it, Bree. Do it, Bree. Yeah. And like her energy ever since then, like has been instilled in me. Like I was like, I'm still gonna make her proud. I'm gonna make yeah. her see like me on this TV screen. She gonna see me, you know. Yeah. So I'm gonna give Brenda McGee her flowers for just always pushing me to be the best version of myself. That's so, that was real slow. Shit, niggas be having bullshit salutes and shit, man. <laughs> niggas don't part time salutes. So uh, you said drama. So talk about that, like, cause I remember I was in a drama class and I knew I couldn't do it because they had to do this exercise where we stare at each other for a minute. And I could not do that shit for save my life. I'm in that bitch like, can't look at people that long. <laughs> I can't. I forced myself to, because back in the day, I used to talk to niggas with my head down. And my cousin was like, nigga, that show a sign of weakness. So I'm like, fuck mm -hmm. you, all right, dog. Even though it'd be hard, but I do that shit. I ain't no scary ass nigga, but it just, See, right. <laughs> yeah, 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 but talk about that. Like, you know, what you in the, my brother was in drama, like, you was trying to get your act on and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, growing up, I honestly came from the, the drama acting field first, mm -hmm. then the music. Mm -hmm. So, like, I was always on stage. Like, I was always performing. I was always just, like, putting on the show. Like, yeah. my mom and them used to be like, that girl gonna be on yeah. TV because I, I was never scared to just start doing anything. Mm -hmm. Like, I was so outspoken, but. It was like, I have to be in the moment. Yeah. That's where the whole drama taught me. Like, regardless of who's there, who's watching, like, mm -hmm. the show's still going to go. Like, you sure. you just still do what you got to do. So, yeah, now, sure. now I'm still trying to get in that bag, though. The bag ain't over for that. Yeah, no, game. for sure. For you, sure. you talking to um two young men down here who, uh you know, been he in two Tubi movies, maybe three. I got my first one in. I'm a coach and shit. Just I'm right there for two seconds. Okay. Like that with Coach Shaw right there and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tubi. Yeah, matter of fact, I think I was in that motherfucking movie and shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> she was on set and shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Made my little actorial debut and shit, man. Right. But my goal is to be a thug number two. I want to have a gun and shit. I don't care if I get shot or I shoot. Mm -hmm. I just want to be a thug number I'm two in that thug, motherfucker. Or like the thug mailman or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Can you, yeah. can you, but can you die good? I don't know. See, that's what know. you gotta, you gotta, I like, my heart. <laughs> Well, I don't know if I can die good. I'm a, I don't want to practice either. Just, like, just make, I can die good. <laughs> no, no. But oh, so you want to um eventually get in some Tubi movies? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I definitely want to tap into the Tubi game. But I mean, I really want to shoot. No, no shades to Tubi. Yeah, you know, because yeah. Tubi going big. But, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, I want to get bigger. I want to. I sure. want to do bigger things. Now, know? are you ready for those long 
two minute and 50, no, seven minute porn scenes they be having in there. Like, those two be movies, they be fucking. You can't tell me y'all niggas ain't really having intercourse, dog. A little, little insertion. Like, you know? I'll be uncomfortable sometimes watching them scenes. You know, like, all, and I, you know, this is so crazy. I think about that. I'm like, you know, what if somebody asked me to do something? Yeah. But I was like, all the thing about like, I got uncles and brothers and all that. They, you know, they pop the movie and they be like, yeah. that's my niece, that's my... No, so, no, I can't let anybody clap. see it, right? Like, I didn't destroy my whole family. Now they all had oh, no, She had <laughs> going crazy on you. <laughs> and family reunion, never be the same. Man, I watched the movie uh, Sloppy Seconds. Mm. You see that shit? Mm. Oh my God. It it sounds... This nigga had a dog eating her pussy. I, was like, I do. I remember that scene. I've like, just seen that on what, the internet. The thing is, who decided to write that? As an actor, like you, like this is okay. And portrayed well, actually, like, yeah, yeah. My mic. I don't know if I would have wrote that in my in my movie. <laughs> I feel like somebody got to do a little prison time. Mm -hmm. on, I don't know who the actress or the writer. Like, I don't know if old girl. So main character had hit me. She was supposed to come on the show, oh. and she was like, she don't advertise that movie at all no more. So I don't know if it's because of that. Or the response you got from it, but yeah, it might have been some backlash because that's that's, yeah. that's that's tough. You I don't know, see people don't play about the animals. Yeah, nigga, it's like you know I'm gonna write this scene with a pit bull eat the pussy. Right? <laughs> like what? Nigga? A pussy eating pit bull is crazy. Like that was our punishment. Eat your pussy. Yeah. Tie, tie our head down, Roscoe. Like God damn, not Roscoe. Man, but uh, before we get into you, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that sound right, but before we get to your story. <laughs> And you know, I like to go back and forth from the music, real life, whatever. But Halloween is approaching us. Uh, it's in two days because uh, this would be aired on Tuesday. Give me a candy where you was like as a kid, like, man, get that shit out of my face. And a candy that you wanted to have. That nasty ass. What, what is it? The 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 corn. What's the corn? Oh, yeah. Candy corn. Candy corn. Yeah. Y'all weirdos eating that, that, candy that's like corn. Nigga, that's how you know a nigga 60 because he like that shit. Y'all corny asses eating candy corn is crazy. Yeah, that shit trash. Grow up. Yeah, keep that shit out of yeah, here. Yeah, no, that's nasty. Yeah, what's the shit that you got to have for your shit? Ooh. Boy, you got to pop a payday or a Reese's in my bag. Oh, payday. That shit about the same as the candy corn. No, paydays is like a snicker, but oh, like flipped out. I'm good. All right, all right. You mean them M&M's? I'm, I'm going to play M&M, nigga. Just the plant? No nut in it? Mm, no nuts. <laughs> Pause on that shit, man. Okay, no nuts on my eyes. Hold the nuts, please. Hold all the nuts. Got them nuts, nigga. You fucking choke on them motherfucking M&M peanuts, dog. M&M nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah M&M nuts, man. Choking on M&M nuts. Yes, yeah, M&M. Not M&M. Like M &M. But uh, so you said um, paydays and what else? Reese's. All right, all right. Reese's. Reese's. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. What's a Halloween that you will remember? Because let's remember my mama horned me. I always wanted like the good costumes, but she always like nigga dressed as a bum or you know a ghost or some shit. Some shit you can afford. I say my childhood Halloween. It was mm. it's one particular one, and it was when my auntie used to live like over where the big houses was. Okay, so they had all oh, the yeah, candy, for sure. like Hell, yeah. like it was like not no skimpy. Like they was like, and yeah, I'm like throwing that shit. In bro, there. we went home with like three bags. Like Man. just like looking dumb. We had to drop the bag off, go back. I said, oh yeah, Hell, yeah. See, I remember like Detroit niggas used to actually like give out candy. Yeah. It's fucked up that now we gotta go to the burbs just to go ahead and have a good Halloween and shit, dog. And niggas, you had to check their motherfucking apples in for needles. Remember that shit, though? Candy had needles and screws. Yeah. You don't know if it's drug candy or... But, see, but now, you know, I stay out in uh, Livonia, so I be wondering, like, do white people, you know, they... Like, damn, I'm mad that these niggas come out here eating candy and getting candy and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be careful. So these houses, these niggas racist. Then you get those houses with those Trump signs, you gotta walk past them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you don't know now. That's what's scary. Like people get dressed up, you don't know, mm -hmm. like you being a weirdo, or is this like you just a celebration, like having fun, right. you know? I'm gonna get a niggas these Trump candies. You, you know? <laughs> no, you get the candy out that one. For sure. You get that shit like no, fast, fast. I'm fat. that one. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now we spoke on how you um I reached out to you back in 2020. Yeah. Long time ago and shit. Yeah. Now I reached out to this girl in 2020. She didn't hit me back until 2024. But we ain't gonna say nothing though. Yeah. You hear now. That already. You hear now. I know. I didn't know though. Because she gonna know. But um talk about this year. It's almost over. Mm -hmm. But talk about your approach to this year and uh, you know, what were some goals you had for yourself musically and uh personally? Man, like I literally, so I'm gonna start like in the last year type of thing. Mm -hmm. So last year I took like the biggest risk ever, okay. finally upped and just like moved to Atlanta on my own, like just packed oh, up my stuff and just moved out there by myself. Mm -hmm. And I say I had the craziest year, like one year. And I told myself, I said, you got one year. 
Mm -hmm. to like you got to tap into either one of these skits one of these shows one of these somethings you better be doing this i was on like at least three hip uh, three loving hip-hop episodes mm -hmm. went to all the events was meeting people networking crazy and then i ended up on the netflix show at mm -hmm. the tyler perry studio so i'm like yo i did it you out here i did it and yeah. i was like see when you say something you 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 achieve it Fast. like you really got to stand behind it and then i said well i don't want to work this job no more yeah. i don't want to do that mm -hmm. like, that's not my life so i said Quit it. Yeah. I quit it. I came back here, became a nail tech. I literally yeah. came home, got licensed in three months. I'm a licensed yeah. certified nail technician in Detroit. That's what's up. Hell you yeah. Me? Congrats to you. Yeah. And then um, once I've satisfied that, like I've done all that, and I was like, oh, my personal goal's been done. I'm like, now it's music time. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like I drop, but I'm not consistent. Mm -hmm. I'm not like pushy. Mm -hmm. Like I don't push myself as hard as I could yeah. and really showing like people what I'm capable of. So I was like this time. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm ready to drop like yeah. projects. For sure. What was stopping you from being like consistent? Like would you worry about what niggas thought with the music or it wasn't good enough for your liking? Like what was taking you, what was holding you up? Yeah. I say for me personally, like I feel like a lot of the past, mm -hmm. I let contradict my future mm -hmm. and it controlled it. So yeah. it was like everything I did, I was like, mindful of everybody else where mm. it was like it's not about them this is your this your your heart this is your thoughts this is your your ideas on this pen and pad mm -hmm. nobody else is so regardless of how they feel about it whether they rock with it or they don't yeah. it's still yours For like sure. this is something you could say so yeah, yeah, yeah. i feel like that held me back a little bit and then um just feeling like financials behind mm -hmm. it oh yeah it's like, expensive. Uh, being in real life like you still got rent you Hell, still yeah. got bills For like sure. that don't Ooh. stop and Hell, when you're yeah. independent they be missing that that aspect like you pay for everything 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 man i was a youtube beat getting ass nigga because <laughs> back when i used to rap and shit man back in my day <laughs> like yo, you, you you get paid maybe yeah yeah because yeah, that shit no that shit can be expensive like you said you got beats you got studio time you got video you got mix and mastering like you got promotion yep. like you got a lot of shit you gotta pay for that shit ain't cheap and then for two two or three niggas that like that shit like damn you be like, oh, I done put like thousands on, like, and you, like, these little likes, not even on share. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, that shit hurt. It hurt. That shit hurt like it killed. Though. It killed your, like, aspiration behind yeah. it. No, hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah. So when you came back home, because you know, you had purpose when you came back home mm -hmm. from Atlanta to Detroit, but yeah. did you feel like it was kind of like niggas gonna look at you like, oh, nigga, you, you left, but you came back, you feel? No. Mm. It was more so like, I looked at it like, I'm coming back now. Something like I, I changed. Mm -hmm. So the person y'all knew ain't even who who you about to meet. Yeah. And it's a temporary. Mm -hmm. I'm temporarily doing this because it's something bigger that I'm about to like up on y'all. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. But it was actually people was excited. They yeah. was like they was mad I was gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they was mad when I came back. Yeah. I always feel like when you leave, like that's like your college. Like if you don't go to college or whatever. Like, but when you leave to do something, that's like your years to really like you know what I'm saying just grow. Mm -hmm. Get shit right because for the most part, you by yourself or you got a couple people you may know. It's not like at the crib when you can just rely on your family. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I had went to Texas like right after my uh, my, my mom's had passed. So I go in there, it's just my older brother, and my son. So you got to move around. You don't know shit. Like, Nothing. Nobody. Yeah. Nothing. But that that's the bonus because you get so stagnant and comfortable in mm -hmm. this. You grew up in this. You This yeah. is too easy. You know sure. everything. Hell but yeah. when you out there on your own and you got to fend for yourself, it's like, yeah. eat. No, for like, sure. I'm hungry, bro. Hell like, yeah. Hell yeah. And you create the image you want. Like, people know you hear about stuff, your past. Like, mm -hmm. they could, that, that, that trauma, anything you had here, th that's dictating you. But when yeah. you go out there, they don't know you. Yeah. They don't know nothing. You hell give yeah. them who you want them to know. For sure. Hell yeah. yeah. They don't know about your past when you. Mm -mm. Was out here scamming and None shit. None of that. They don't know about your little uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> Is that, yeah, you, know? you start brand new. You can have got you a husband and everything. It's possible. Yeah, yeah. Just change states. <laughs> when you got you a husband, though, and you found out who that nigga really was from the past, like, you know what I'm saying? You meet this nigga and shit, and his representation right now is good. Like, this nigga stand-up guy. You know what I'm saying? But you go to the family union, and they tell you, like, yeah, you know, back then, Marcus was a <laughs> whole shit had holes every day. Like, would you still love him? Like, would you be like, all right, let's talk about your past a little bit? Or is that something that you want to know when y'all in the whole dating phase? Like, who were you before you, you know what I'm saying? I knew you. I feel like if it's something that still is mm. a part of you now, mm. we need to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But if it's something that you grew past and you completely disconnected from yeah. that, mm. yeah. like, leave it where it is. So me and you talking and you found out I was just a hoe back in the day. I ain't fucked everybody. Mm -hmm. But I'm a changed man. I got, I found God. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm different now. Would you still would you be just a kind of kid, you know, a little upset about how I was in the past? Mm -mm. Okay. No. Nope. I'm like I, I if I found out, I'm like, I can't fuck with you. <laughs> 
play men have like a different like yeah. a set, to, especially when it comes to a woman. Y'all, y'all take that real personal. Like every dude that smack my girl, yeah. like bro, don't know. But to us, we like we know y'all. But see, I don't even oh, ask those oh. questions no more. Like in my early age. You know what I'm saying? When I was younger and shit, like body count, yeah. Question, but now you don't want to know because, like, wh- why hurt yourself? Literally, <laughs> people have phases. You what, just gotta. Why the fuck I used to ask those questions? Like, who? I mean, niggas, you fuck. It, why was it so standard though? Yeah, like, it was, it was like, like, <laughs> like, yo, where you from? <laughs> I my niggas, you fuck. And so different, like not the older we get, you see our circle get like way smaller. Like, everybody smaller. Know everybody. Back then, though, yeah. it was like that's yeah. my homie, that's my homie. Yeah. So who you know? Yeah, who you, no, for yeah, sure. I don't want to bring you in a room, and they be like, "Hey, bro, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, she wild." Yeah. Like, I had the pit bull. Got the pit bull, and she was with it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's get the peanut butter. Yeah, I'm gonna ask those questions if it if we stumble upon upon the nigga that you want you you know what I'm saying you have relations with mm-hmm. whatever dog but I ain't asking those questions I don't want to know I don't want to hurt myself yeah facts yeah. like I had to tell my brother like nigga y'all can't be checking each other's phones bro no nah, that shit cause you gonna get hurt even though she don't do shit still gonna be something in there that's gonna hurt you that's, some type of way that's gonna trick you yeah. and that's why I'm like I wouldn't want to know because the idea of me uh, uh, you now to me mm. I'm going to keep that. My man is my man. Yeah, but then sure. everybody just, you got to go through the history. I'm like, your log is crazy, my boy. You got a whole book. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, for sure. Girl, like, yeah. nah. I mean, um, in relationships, we can get off this because I don't, you know, I know. But cheating, like, what forms of cheating to you when you're in a relationship? Like, is a nigga liking pictures a form of cheating? No. Nah. Is a nigga texting a chick a form of cheating? Depends on the conversation. Okay. So, like, conversation a little flirty as cheating? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Like, yeah. not because you, you giving them hope, like, you know, like you can engage with me, yeah. and if like I fall or something, like they're like, yeah. oh yeah, be all that with me, yeah, Like yeah. they gonna be paying attention, but not just to you. Now they watching me. Yeah. They like, oh yeah, let me let me stir the pot because yeah. he, he's soft. He yeah. got a spot in him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got him. Can you, crazy. Can you forgive somebody for cheating on you? <laughs> Depends the extent of cheating. All right. Like if it was like a text situation, I'm like, oh, you texting somebody? Like mm-hmm. all right, like. That's cool, but yeah. you you went full yeah. fledged. You pulled. You got in the car. You probably even went to the gas station, put gas in that car yeah. to go to her crib, yeah. and did, did the do. Yeah. Nah, boy, you're done. I had said some you're shit done. on the show. It, even though if, if my girl fuck, I don't care how you fuck, it's over. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. But like, my like, thing is, certain positions show the signs of disrespect. So if you ride a nigga, that's disrespectful. Yeah. Like you, you look, make an eye if you face, if you missionary, that's, you each love each other, bro. Yeah. What? Now you ain't you, even like turn her head and make yeah. her believe it's me or nothing. Like you just bad shots. Oh my god! <laughs> you know them. to make my back dimple. The hell you doing? But if it's like that little side action where she look at the door because she alert and she don't want you to catch, then you show me a little respect. But <laughs> you, a look because you look at you 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 scared that I'm gonna walk in the door. So you're trying to hurry up and get out of that position. But if you had any point in time, because I would you would you would contact your girl throughout the day, right? There's mm-hmm. no point that you would go 24 hours not talking to your girl, right? No, no, no. no. So that means at some point I contacted you yeah. and you still made the, the yeah. decision yeah, yeah, to yeah, link up sure. with this nigga. Sure. Yeah, you yeah. know, nah, you you different. You're a different breed. I found out afterwards, you, it hurt me after me and my son mom was broke up that I found out that she had cheated on me. Like, mm-hmm. like I was still a little upset, a little hurt about that shit. Like after the fact, like then I started going back and replaying it like damn she had a lot of opportunities yeah, though. Yeah, like she could have did more yeah you know? I was I was going to the club spend like my mama house on some whole shit like damn she was probably out here fucking <laughs> never thought about it he's yeah. like what she doing yeah. like what so, she doing I'm like damn she was dead she was getting over but yeah the position shows that she don't respect you like I said missionary bad shots she riding that motherfucking dick Oh, she don't fuck. She don't, she fuck don't, she don't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that's, that's real intimate. If it's like some little quick shit, then she's like, all right, let me go get quickie. If I'm, that's all I'm gonna ask you. Yeah. Did you kiss her? Yeah. Because oh, yeah. if you kissed her, oh, I know you. Yeah. Oh, boy, you're done. Yeah. Because that's, that's serious. N- yeah. Niggas don't kiss bitches they don't fuck with. Y- y- y'all know that they don't. <laughs> they do not. They will be like, nah, it's not. Mm-hmm. Like they gonna they gonna dodge that yeah, shit. Yeah, like little no, killing sure. that bit. Like, yeah, but yeah. if you doing it, you kissing. Oh, yeah. bro, that's deep. We used to talk about my nigga Wiz used to be kissing uh, uh chicks in the club, but he just met like both of y'all got tequila breath in this nigga. <laughs> This slobby. She's doing a big one. I say the real name, nigga. <laughs> Niggas don't know ways. Like, which ways? <laughs> Niggas say, I'm like, dog, you slobbing that motherfucker, dog. Not the slob slob. Yes, dog. Ooh, yes. No, not slob slob. Yes, yes, hell yeah. <laughs> What's some shit, uh, you know what I'm saying, that you need to improve on with yourself, though? I know you spoke on the whole, you know, music dropping and shit like that, but what's some shit personally that you need to go ahead and improve on just to bury yourself that might be holding you back? Um, say like health, 
Mm -hmm. You know, like, I feel like when I was in Atlanta, mm -hmm. I was on it. Like, I was, like, my smallest. I was everything. I got back home. The food, boy, like, y'all cannot fuck with Detroit food, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's no reason. But, like, I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I got to be ready. Like, to, if you think about shows and everything like that, I'm not in the shape to handle that. Yeah. Like, I'm not. And I'll be like, bro, you getting dressed, doing photo shoots, video shoots. Like, it's it make you different as a woman. Like, yeah. for dudes, y'all having a belly is sexy. Like, we love a ball and belly. <laughs> belly we, Williams, we love that, but yeah. a woman, y'all be like, don't wear them shorts. Like, yeah, 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 you know, like yeah. that ain't cool. Like, see, as I got older, I like a little me. I see you know a lot of guys do. Yeah, like, ain't nothing wrong with me. Niggas be lying when it come to dating and yeah. stuff, like and just pulling you some little woo woos and some little little rosters. Like, yeah. no, nah, the, the yeah. belly don't matter. But yeah. when it come to the the, yeah. the image, it's it, a little like, as a young as a youngster, I was stupid. Like you know, you you feed into that stereotype. Your girl gonna be light skin, gotta be small, yeah. and all this shit. But as I got older, I'm like, shit. I don't give a damn. You nice? Yeah. You, Man, the light skin girl broke my heart, dog. Right. Yeah, I know it broke your heart, nigga. You still ain't over your third grade. <laughs> About the third grade, she stole your cookies and yeah. gave up the cookies. Man, yeah, yeah. that's but, what she did. But yeah, uh, it's like you be thinking crazy when you younger and shit, though. You do you know what I'm saying? I had, a, I had a, you know, like I wouldn't date dark skin dudes because yeah. we beef out. Like yeah. dark skin, and dark skin, it's like a battle. We would not get along so i was like i like light-skinned dudes they don't want to argue like that but you know all he's gonna go toe to toe with you know, look when you look at into the black community we be on some racist shit sometimes with ourselves <laughs> like oh she too dark she too light literally like, like, like oh, i had dark skin they get that good hair like we be <laughs> and so many stick like and we create them yeah, and then everybody else just run with it and we be do. like did you say what i think you said like you said it first yeah said no it first. for sure for sure hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah so you say that's the shit that you need working personally yeah just yeah. getting my health together being more active being just even water bro like water is hard mm -hmm. like they got limitations you supposed to drink now and i can't even even get the limit <laughs> like bro like but no what's some shit that you looking to for next year that you want to just what's some goals for next year that you already setting for yourself music whatever so yeah music like I said the project I wanted to come out 2025 for mm. sure for sure but mm. I also want to get like big name features mm. like I really want to tap in real real big like I want to do like you wouldn't even think I could have did that but I did it oh shit I give you your shit <laughs> big day feature, nigga. Big shot, nigga. Big, dog. Yeah. Yeah, big shot. shot. Like, 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 nigga. Nigga. She called me a grandpa, dog. I'm thirty eight, y'all. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. threw me off. Mm -hmm. like, he was giving like young, young, young tenderoni, and then it was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know, man. Like that shit. That shit hurts you when you start looking at them birthdays, and you be like. Damn, I'm getting older. Bro, when you forget it. Yeah. Like, you be like, what age is it this year? Like, oh, oh shit. Like, because I coach, uh, I told you I coach girls basketball. Mm -hmm. And it's fucking me up that these parents is getting younger and younger. And you get older. Yeah, I'm like, damn. When I first started coaching, the parents was older than me. Now I'm older than the parents. <laughs> like, that, like which <laughs> And that's another thing. If I, uh, this is off subject, but hey, man, coaches, be careful. Don't get caught with the mamas. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Jones, Miss Jackson, all of them. Don't yeah. do it. No, for sure. Now, uh, congratulate to y'all. I'm gonna congratulate and hate a little bit. Oh. Not on, not hate on y'all, but congrats for being on the BET Hip Hop Awards. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That experience. I want to talk about that. Yeah. But the Hip Hop Awards didn't changed. It yeah, it's different. When Roscoe Dash and Soldier Boy performing, y'all like it. It hurts. Like, and I, I'm mad y'all, nigga, y'all big name rappers, like for like kind of like. Being so upset with these white shows that you're not getting nominated for a Grammy or Oscar and shit like that. But when you got something within us, you don't, you know what I'm saying, support it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why these venues are getting smaller for the hip hop awards, BT Awards. Mm -hmm. It ain't as big because y'all not supporting it. But just talk about that and who you met that you was kind of excited for and shit like that. And like what what's something you wanted to gain from being there? Um, so yeah, the, the experience was just crazy and dope. Like I was with my homegirl Detroit Diamond doing our big one out there mm -hmm. out in Vegas. And like um being there, like you said, like growing up to seeing that, that was always a dream. Like yeah. I literally would play that like that's like like when girls want to play princess, I was playing accept the award For at sure. BET. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. I was sitting there like, oh, going through my speech, like, oh yeah. So being in that room, I'm like, yo. Mm, you, yeah. you 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 right that, that's the age yeah. next time gonna be you but it was just different because when you watch it back like when we was watching it like you said years ago yeah. it was like it was so much longer yeah, the so, ciphers yeah so harder and like you know like yeah. and it was like kind of like like you said it's dying down because mm. of where people are deciding to put 
their energy to mm-hmm. as far as in the black community and supporting. Mm. But being there still, it was still a room of goats. Sure. It was still a, an amazing opportunity to network and meet people. So I got to meet Holiday, yeah. um, DJ Holiday, which was so dope. He's so cool, such a vibe. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, I'd be like his new Nikki, you know, he my 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 DJ or whatever, For you sure. know. So sure. you know, go on tour. Yeah, we here. Hell yeah, speak that shit. Yeah, and then uh, I got to meet Damani as yeah. well. See us. Nigga be sleeping on how dope he is Bro, lyricist. He's crazy. Yeah. And would have never imagine like yeah. that no, was nigga the vibe, but he 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 dope. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Nigga ready to be talking about some shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now uh that's what threw me off about the hip hop awards this year. The Cyphers, how y'all failed, dog. Why the fuck y'all got these niggas in the car rapping? And it's not even full. Like full verses, bro. Like I'm like, dog. I missed them shit when you had nigga Kendrick and the team, like, TDE. You had uh, a uh, uh, motherfucking with Eminem and them there. Yeah, like went crazy, dog. That was like your whole highlight. Like looking forward to the cyphers. Yeah, niggas was mad that they missed it. Mm-hmm. Like I'm recording the motherfucking uh, shit just so I can see the cyphers. Literally. But now nah, it's like it's why niggas in Hyundai, nigga, and that bitch rapping. <laughs> <laughs> like, like just, just doing car freestyles like okay. yeah. <laughs> Detroit we got so many rappers here we need to do something for real mm-hmm. and it gotta be it gotta be y'all need me in these rooms as far as like to tell y'all what, how to do this shit stop letting vote like stop letting people vote for their homeboys mm-hmm. have a a, a a panel of like you know what I'm saying different people and they judge who you know what I'm saying cause if me and you going for the same nomination but you better than me but I got more following than you they it's gonna vote automatic. for me, so I win. Even though you better mm-hmm. than me, so they got they got change the shit when it comes to Detroit awards. No, yeah, for sure. That's that's even how I come with all these uh these little shows y'all be doing. Mm. Y'all tell all these artists, these up and coming artists, to pull up for, yeah. and y'all be like, oh yeah, best person get to perform yeah. here and do this. <laughs> and then y'all know y'all be having y'all team in there that y'all gonna pick. Exactly. Like, I don't do it no more just because of that. Like literally went against people that was a part of their group. Exactly. And it was like you literally set set people up to fail, and it's like for what. And yeah, you, yeah. you, it make you think like you're not good enough, yeah, and it yeah. has nothing to do with that. It's literally a no. You can't think that award because I'll be knowing these podcast niggas get these awards. I know my shit the best. You know what? <laughs> yeah, y'all, are, y'all some fuck niggas, dog. But of course, y'all ain't gonna nominate me, nigga. Y'all scared? Y'all, nigga. Y'all, I don't want to do that. Everybody who got podcasts in Detroit shit is trash, <laughs> but mine. <mom's just laughs> terrible niggas. Do niggas, better. Niggas be crying. <laughs> but uh. Like I said, we're going to bounce back and forth from music and life. Yeah. Give me a moment in life where you felt like it can't get no worse than this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have real shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> when I say before the idea of Atlanta, mm-hmm. of me, I was here. I was living in Chesterfield. Mind you, I worked a job where I'm making $31 an hour oh, shit. in this bro- new mm-hmm. top tier apartment that is new construction. Nobody ever lived in. Mm-hmm. Have a new car. All this stuff. And when I say I felt so empty and lonely, yeah. like didn't have nobody. Nobody came over. Mm. Nobody. It was nobody for me to go see in this car. It was nothing. I couldn't spend money with nobody. Like yeah. it was like I was like, dang. Like, yeah, no. I got it, but I'm alone, bro. Like at the end of the day, what was the point of this? Like yeah. this don't even matter. Yeah. And I literally would drive the freeway just like crying, like mm. God, what is it? Like yeah. what? What is it? Yeah. And it was New Year's Eve. To, I, I'll never forget it. This is how New Year's Eve, and I'm sitting there watching Netflix, not even realizing it went after twelve. Yeah. I didn't get a call, a Damn. text, yeah. or nothing for New Year's, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, damn, yeah, like I don't sure. matter to nobody, like yeah. not a soul, like I ain't even celebrating with yeah. nobody, like damn, like, and it hit me like you by yourself, yeah, you damn. can't, you like everything you do now, you yeah. by yourself for sure, like for it sure. don't matter. That shit hurt me, you know? damn, that shit. Was yeah. <laughs> You want to get deep? No, for sure. real, like, I know you yeah, like that's you know, where like people be like, "Dang, she's so nice, she's so happy." She's that, but my mindset yeah. got changed from that. No, to no. be like, yeah, I'm like that because I love me yeah. so much now. Yeah. I was loving everybody else trying to do this to be like, oh, I can, I can do this, I can do that. No, it's me yeah. now. No, for sure. And like you said, it's something about because that's how I can relate. Like that New Year's Eve, like going to the New Year, it's something that triggers inside you that just make you just. All these different feelings, like you ain't do enough. Mm-hmm. What you gonna do for next year? Who was here? Who was you know what I'm saying gone and stuff like that? So, cause I had a um, episode like that. Is a, it was a New Year's, and then it's like you like you said, you feel by yourself. I'm in Texas, and I'm gonna talk to my grandma and shit. She got me crying on the phone. Like I'm like, grandma, just chill. Yeah, <laughs> now, like, now we both over here crying. But yeah, <laughs> when you feel lonely, like niggas don't understand like the, how that make a nigga feel. So. Like I said, you got to check on friends. You got to check on family. Like, you never know what people are really going through. You don't. So I, how did you get over there? You making the most money? Because like I said, I tell people all the time, money don't mean shit. If you ain't 
right within yourself. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Lauren Hill said that shit. <laughs> right? You ain't right within. Yeah, yeah it so, is. But like, like, like niggas don't understand like that money don't mean shit if you ain't mm-hmm. if you ain't right with you know what I'm saying with yourself and shit. Mm-hmm. And you gotta be comfortable being by yourself too. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. Mm-hmm. So my flipping point from that was when that that happened. Mm-hmm. And I realized that, like, I started praying. Yeah. And I mean, like, hard, like, crying, like, God, like, this was my prayer to be exact. I'm yeah. like, God, I'm not asking you to make me famous. I'm not asking you to do anything magical for me. Mm-hmm. I said, but remove fear from me. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I can't do anything because I'm so scared of mm-hmm. this and this and failure and being alone and leaving these people. And I was like, just remove fear. Yeah. I don't even want to be scared. I want to know that whatever I do, you're going to protect me through it. If you give me that, I, mm-hmm. I surrender. Like yeah, literally yeah. said wow. this, and that next day I woke up, yeah. looked up for flights for Atlanta, yeah. looked up apartments, was out. and I was out. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I, it was, it was like it literally is real. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Damn, that's deep. I, yeah. I like you. I said, you know, you ain't respond to me since twenty twenty. Boy, look, you had to let me get through them to get these experiences. <laughs> no, for sure, yeah, for sure, for sure. Experience is everything. Yeah. That's everything yeah. for real. Who can you talk to when times get hard, and what do you do to get your head right? Say God. Mm-hmm. I got I do. That's like first because I feel like sometimes maybe how people's like in real world, mm-hmm. you gonna have your idea stuff. This mm-hmm. is why people gotta get out of this. I'm right and you're wrong game. Yeah. It's not. You have you were raised a certain way. You grew up with different experiences mm-hmm. from me. So I could say something that hurt me and you'd be like, I don't even yes, say that that's it, we, yeah. But to me, I'm like, I'm hungry. Yeah, it's like, it's like, me. And you be like, oh, you good. Get up, bro. Like, yeah. No. So it's like, I feel like God only can understand my mm-hmm. my space in that that moment first. And once I talk to him, I feel more relieved. Like, yeah. then I'll be like, okay, I can communicate to you or people around me or, you know, like I call my friends, like I'll call Diamond and be like, I just got a dent. Yeah, like, no, and she'd sure. be like, all right. She's yeah. Still tough. Don't yeah. don't get it twisted. She's still tough. Like yeah. she don't let me be like, I ain't friends. She be like, okay, bro. So what yeah. you gonna do? I'm yeah. like, I don't know. I ain't for yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like it still be stuff. And my mom, she she's same. It's like my friend and my mom being so similar on mm-hmm. how they like love is crazy. I'm yeah. like, bro, nobody want to be this soft. Yeah. They all are like, <laughs> like they just agree. I'll be though. tough and shit. Yeah. Girl. They be like, shit, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. Now I, I tell my kids all the time because I damn, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I hate when my um my kids say friend. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't really think they know the true meaning of a friend. So mm-hmm. I tell my kids like, you cool with them? Like, don't that friend word is something big. It's very That's big. Like, it's almost like as I'm, I'm a father, like I, I take you know what I'm saying pride in being a dad. You know what I'm saying like I'm a good dad. I feel like you know what I'm saying or a husband or whatever. So when I think of friends, like I think it's some some real shit. Mm-hmm. Like nigga, you gonna be right there if I taught you for a year. We still homies. So what you know what I'm saying? You say, "Dami, your home girl." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So talk about friends. Like, how do you assess somebody as a friend? What do they got to do to prove that they are a loyal friend for you? So, like, I'm deep. for me, I, 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 I like that. I like I'll that. Shit. Because I feel like <laughs> I've always said that, like, I ain't never had, like, a friend friend. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel like you got people around you, but you like, dang, I don't feel like that's my friend friend. Exactly. But you say it, you be like, yeah, yeah, it's friend. so easy to say friend. It's so easy. Yeah. But it's, it's a level of, like, support beyond just like oh we hang out mm-hmm. like it's people i've been friends with them for years and we just hang out i don't they don't know nothing yeah, about yeah. me no, not a soul like facts. you don't know nothing you can t- if somebody asks you you couldn't even tell them mm-hmm. like no like, but it's it's you know you get that rare one two people that pop up and you be like yo i can literally tell you no. my life Hell and yeah. i feel like you will keep it safe and you will understand it you don't judge mm-hmm. me you don't you know belittle me mm-hmm. you know and that's kind of how me and her had like it, it took a second because mm-hmm. we was like two different people, like I don't know you, you for real <laughs> no. I tell you you don't yeah. be like hey hey yeah. like, but then we finally hit that common ground to be like be open don't judge mm-hmm. be good and mm-hmm. we gonna keep each other safe like we we riding this out together yeah. and that's what it's been since that for sure yeah. hell yeah hell yeah cause when you get older like that friendship start fading away yeah like I, uh, shout out to my it's like it's family but it's like my dog my, shout out to Lance dog that's my nigga like <laughs> what's the name of yeah, it yeah my nigga Lancey Pants and this dog called Lance Pants. That's my nigga. Does. I call it some little pants, nigga. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just, I don't know why I fucking fuck, fuck, start saying that shit. I don't know, but yeah. It's like when you get a homie, like, you be like, damn, this nigga really cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he help out. 
You know what I'm saying? Like when you get those, you got chairs like real friends and mm-hmm. even family. Like you got chairs, family because niggas don't give a fuck about you. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? You got once you understand that shit, that's when things be it's, it's easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say like, and the right person. You don't understand like the right person brings so much to your life. So much. You know what I'm saying? That's so, where it's like between like like her and my mama. Like mm-hmm. like I said, it's literally them my friends. Mm-hmm. Like them is my friends. Yeah, they my sure. go tos. Them my they gonna be hard on me, but they gonna love me. They gonna always be there. They, like they not gonna just up and go. Yeah. Like you know, like yeah, yeah. that's cool. That worked for me. Mm-hmm. But like like you said, you had those people where you be like, dang, I thought you would be here. Yeah, you know, sure. like no. you be so close with and but. Yeah. It's okay. Growth is real, and yeah. and you can grow apart from people, and it's not not a problem. It's not mm-hmm. on bad terms. It's just y'all y'all grow differently. Yeah, that's it. It's, you get hey, that's life. Yeah. That's it. Like you said, you go through that shit growing up. Elementary school, you got different friends. Once you get to middle school, high mm-hmm. school, college, different. After that shit, like yeah. niggas gonna it's gonna change up because you growing either you you falling back and they growing yes. or vice versa. Look, you know what I'm saying, and it's it's okay. You know, like you don't gotta take it to heart. You don't gotta make it a, a beef thing. Like mm-hmm. that's what people problem is. Y'all run. To to social media and make it a problem. No, such and such fake. It ain't about being fake. It's just yeah. we're not the same no more. And I don't feel the connection. Yeah, it yeah. ain't there no more. We can't help each other no more. Hell yeah. You talk about your mom's. Like, how much do she mean to you? Like, bro. I, I like, you know what I'm saying? Just having your mom's there and stuff like that. Like, like how much do you cherish that that relationship with you and your moms? Like, my mom, it's it's one of the like I'm telling you, that's that that tough lady. Mm-hmm. Like, but I never understood it growing up. So when I was younger, it's like she just mean. Yeah, yeah, you know, sure. but now that I'm older, everything she said, I'd be like, it. it'd be still like it'd be like a like random message. And yeah. I'd be like, My mama said, Don't even <laughs> you know, my mama said that. My mama <laughs> told me. Like, yeah. and it'd be so random. And like she always be she be like, I give you one thing, you you would you did listen to me. Yeah. You know, like yeah. she always like, no, and you can see my mama, she yeah. young, so you, yeah. I'm talking like she's old. How old is your mom? She's like 48. Oh, she's my producer 45. <laughs> She's not even old. Like she look, she look like a sister. You, if y'all so, see me with my mom, you wouldn't think it's my mama. But yeah, she, yeah. she one of the ones. If she, if, if she took my niece to to basketball, you'd be like, oh hey hey hey, how you doing, Miss uh Miss us and stuff. Yeah, you're ain't be confused. Like how old are you again? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Damn, y'all get older. Your so foot ain't ain't bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not no more. Damn, what's up? Gotta pull it. Yeah. Yep. Gotta go up. Better go up than down. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> but no, but we don't really understand like like parents like when they be they be on you when you young you like damn why the fuck she on me yeah, or he yeah. on me my dad but when you get older you like I understand it yeah cause now like, I wish I could tell my mom like, hey I apologize mm-hmm. like cause my son be doing shit I be like dog I remember my mama tell me like nigga you a, you on some yeah. bullshit yeah. yeah it's like I understand now why she was so tough on me mm-hmm. cause now as a parent and your kid getting older you start thinking about them shit that she was, you know what I'm saying, yelling at you she about. Said like, you. nigga, mom tripping, but mom really was giving a fuck about you. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's Getting you prepared. People lose that. Like, my, my biggest thing is, like, my mama would deliver the message, but she wouldn't tell you why. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And so it's like, until I became an adult, and then she was like, I always knew mm-hmm. you would be something. Yeah. So I never, I never was going to be your friend because yeah, yeah. you needed to know, like, don't don't fall in this category. I did that, so mm-hmm. you don't do it. So to me, I'm like, you can say that, but no, because I yeah. wouldn't understood it. I wasn't in that mind space so young to think that. Like now yeah. that I'm older, I'm like, yeah. but now I'm like, yeah, my I, I, I want to listen yeah, at yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. it. Sure, I, pray, I understand now. Yeah, yeah, so it's like they 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 ways is very so, needed. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. grounds you, but some people just yeah, you got those tough ass parents. <laughs> And you, like I said, you need that. You got them parents that kind of like reason with you and kind of soft a little bit. Like, it just depends on you. I think parents just adjust to how their kids are. Like, you know, one kid may be a, hey, I got to be on this motherfucker. This nigga crazy. Like, my little brother was that crazy nigga. Like, yeah. mom had to be on his ass because this motherfucker was wild. Me, exactly. she kind of, you know what I'm saying, soften up a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But my brother, oh, that's, that's yeah. that motherfucker nutcase. Same, same. A menace to society. Like, I'll tell you, like, the, my, like, the best thing that I'm always going to take from my mom, I'm always going to take this. And it was like the best conversation we ever had to be real with each other. Mm. And I was like, for so long, because I felt like it was so much like, I got to make my mama proud. Yeah. Like my mom sacrificed so much for me by yeah. herself. You, as me cry this motherfucker, you know, I'm, just, I'm being real because it was like, like you said, when you want to give people yeah. flowers, but you don't, you don't think to say it in the right moments. Like mm-hmm. I'm saying it now, like to be like, yo, when she... I told her like I, my life been about making you proud. I want to yeah. make you proud because you didn't have to have no for sure. And you did, mm-hmm. and you did what you did for me. And she like 
I live my life. Yeah. You got to live your life for you. Exactly. That yeah. moment she said that, it set me free from so yeah. many boundaries. I had to be like, be the best. Mm-hmm. Be this and be this. It's like, take your losses and learn from yeah. them. No, for I, sure. but then I couldn't. It was like, no, yeah. you can't lose. You can't lose. Like, I don't yeah. want to disappoint her. I don't sure. want to, you know, yeah. be like, my daughter ain't, you know, like, yeah. she never been that. No, right. for sure. Hell so, yeah. Hell yeah. Because you always trying to make sure you ain't right. I ain't gonna say waste your mom time, but like as being a parent, you want to show them like what you did. It, yeah, it did something for me. Like I want to make sure I'm paying are, you back. I'm a product of you. Yeah. So when people look at me, they could be like, "Dang, that was that woman yeah. did it." Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Hell instead yeah. of be like, "Who her mom?" Hey, you're a good person, bro. <laughs> you're a good guy, that person. Let me go ahead and piss bump you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I shout out to my mama. Yeah. I'm you, the way I am with her. I got ass because you you give mom love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Was, was Pops in the, in the picture? No. Okay. No, n- not my real dad. Okay. Um, and and it, what's funny is, I always dreamed of these moments. Mm-hmm. I was like, ooh, when I make it, yeah. ooh, I'm going to dog this man. Like, ooh, I'm going to drag this man through the dirt. <laughs> you piece of shit. You ain't do nothing. You are there. I'm here without you. Like, mm-hmm. I was about to Eminem on his mama type. Duh. Like, yeah, I'm just about to clown you. Every yeah. song is a diss. Yeah. But then, I really sat back and I said, no. Him not being there mm-hmm. was needed. Yeah. Cause I might not be who I am now mm-hmm. if he was. He was not, we weren't the same. Mm-hmm. But I always will say thank you to that man for giving me my gifts. Mm-hmm. My talent, my abilities, and all that is him. For Even sure. my mama say that, like, you talented because your dad. Mm-hmm. So all the stuff I could do is from him, but that's all. Yeah. You know, like he gonna get a, a, yeah. a, a say so out of me. Sure. I'm never, I ain't gonna disrespect him. He chose his life how he chose it. We so, know how things went and, and what he said. So you know, you know him. Yeah. You know oh, who yeah, he is. Very, yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. So, like I've seen him. Yeah, huh, yeah. You know. But y'all don't have a relationship right now. Mm-mm. Now, do you ever think about like sometimes you know you be by yourself, be like you know what I'm saying because my pops passed. You know, I don't, it's mm-hmm. about you. Yeah. But you you think about those like damn, what if he was here? Like how would it be? Do you have those moments? <laughs> yeah. And I think it was like for years, that was one of those things too. That was like one of those clutches, those emotional clutches where you like, dang, I want my dad mm. and you keep fighting. And I feel like I I said like the way I treated my dad is how I treat men. Mm. I chase, I chase, I give my all to like prove, like yeah. love me, love me. Sure. Like I'm worth loving. Like, mm. And then it was like, you're not going to get love. You're no. not. You're not going to get it because that man don't know how. Mm-hmm. He's confessed it. Like, I'm not. I'm not that. Yeah, no, for sure. So once he said it, it was like the closure. Yeah. Because yeah. I chased it for years. I was I was after it for years. Yeah, and it was yeah. like, what what do I got to do? You yeah. not catching <laughs> on my boy. Like, I ain't did nothing to you. Yeah, I don't yeah. ask for money. I don't ask for I just want my dad. Yeah, for sure. You yeah. know, like yeah, yeah. only a bond that me and you can have. Yeah. But and it's, it, it, it'd be crazy because I'd be thinking about like like people like I know family friends and stuff like when they got kids they don't be around mm-hmm. I can't imagine myself being away from my kids I got three three of them little motherfuckers three of them fools yeah. but it's like I can't imagine myself being absent because mm-hmm. first of all I don't want no another nigga raising my kids Facts. and then especially when you get that daughter I got my my third one is my girl mm-hmm. I can't picture life like this nigga be be spoiled like dog. I can't understand life like that. Should be crazy. Imagine he got seven, eight, some we don't know about past the number, mm-hmm. and only two are boys. Yeah, all girls. Yeah. So mind you, you didn't you didn't create an environment for so many women. Yeah, like that's like Man. you raised too many women to, to yeah. look at men a certain way and that's yeah. where it starts yeah. and I see girls who who be raised with their dad and yeah. I'm like dang it's that simple yeah, man, it's, like I said I look at my daughter I be wanting to cry every time I'm like damn she getting a little older <laughs> god damn I'm like dang like she, she walking out I'm crying I'm like, it's like it's crazy cause like when you got my two boys like of course you love your boys but you get emotional like as a father when you get dark like it's a different type of feeling mm-hmm. especially with my mom being gone it's like alright this just the woman for me. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to make sure she understands when she grew up. I, I say this thing. When she go, I'm going to let her know her pussy. You, uh, did I say pussy? Well, I, I want to say your private area. Yeah, treat man. it like money. Mm-hmm. Don't ain't, Anybody can get a penny. Ain't too many niggas getting millions. Mm-hmm. Treat that shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Respect yourself. Don't let everybody pay. Oh, she easy. Mm-hmm. Make make it a challenge for niggas that really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm going to keep it real because a lot of parents don't keep it real with their kids. Yeah. You be telling my son, hey man, don't be fucking get any nigga. These girls got herpes. Nigga, like don't be. They got everything. You, you, tell your kid, you want to tell your son, nigga, knock down every girl. 
But nigga, no, nigga. These girls are crazy. Mm-hmm. These girls are wild. They sleeping with anybody. So nigga, make sure you understand who you sleeping with, what you doing and stuff like that. Because it's cool to be like, oh, I got some motherfucking pussy. Mm-hmm. But nigga, ain't cool to be like, oh, I got AIDS from this shit. I got herpes oh, even, from this shit. I got STD. It ain't even like you got to be wild anymore. It's unfortunate because who they came from, mm-hmm. they decisions in life could have affected them. Yeah, no, you yeah. know, when nobody think about that. Like, it's yeah. people that's born with stuff that exactly. y- yeah. you just got it. No, facts. You facts, feel me? Like, facts. you ain't even have to do nothing. At all. And they ain't no, like, yeah. you just can't can I get them papers right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, but I talk to my son, I talk to my, my girl. Like, I got to make sure, hey, y'all know what's going on because yeah. one bad decision going to fuck up your whole life. Facts. Even though that shit going to feel good. It's going to feel great. It's going to feel great. Bro. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's an after effect like damn I ain't fucked up like so you can be careful like if a girl quit I tell myself if a girl quit to give it to you hey take it take a step back yeah. who else she did this with mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying my son 18 they get like, hey cool chill you know do yeah. your thing but do yeah. it right but and then before I had son I never thought I'd tell my son hey nigga chill don't be trying to get Man, nothing you thought you was like yeah get, yeah, that. get everything crap <laughs> all them cheeks it's, like, <laughs> it's like it's okay to hold on you know what I'm like saying when you go to college freshman get all them yeah, cheeks yeah, yeah. he gonna be he, he gonna be in there nigga be, nigga be fresh got dreads got a, hey, you like, like my boy about to get them all in the dorm like oh he like keep them girls out that dorm hey man chill chill relax <laughs> relax Relax, that's good, but that's good. Like yeah. I feel like that stereotype be so easy for the guys. Like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, you know, get them, get them, yeah. and then it's nah, like the man. women, like you better not. And like. think about it, <laughs> women are like drugs for us. Mm-hmm. Once you get it, you don't want to stop. It's addictive. It's addictive. We control it. <laughs> it's like like you said, raw dog. You want this to be raw? Yeah. Don't ever go raw. Don't. Because once you go raw, you don't go back. <laughs> you don't, dog. We we all know this motherfucker. Is, I, <laughs> Once you go raw, you under law. <laughs> you on a contract now. You mine. You didn't sign. You so, going back. Now we ain't talking about some deep shit. But when the last time you got a good cry in that didn't have to do didn't have to do with death. Ooh, a cry. You cry your ass off. Oh yeah, no, no, for sure. Um, it was and it, it was a trigger cry though, so it ain't fair that they, you know because I'll be good. But mm. I was working at a shop. And it just felt like everybody was just like attacking me for like no uh, no reason. Yeah. Like it's the oh you walk in and you don't speak to nobody. Yeah. If I walk in and say hey, mm-hmm. that's you, everybody. You speaking? That's yeah, everybody. Hey, everybody yeah, you know, sure. but I'm not holding conversations or I'm not sitting with y'all no more because I'm just like you know mm-hmm. I got a lot on my own mind. Like mm-hmm. people don't understand that. And then when it's like oh we about to have a meeting and it's like everybody mm-hmm. got something to say but it's directed to me. Mm-hmm. Like hold on, I don't like. Yeah. Nah, what's this what's this and it just was like you can't even defend yourself mm. when you outnumber you can't defend yourself so I'm yeah. just sitting there like feeling triggered I'm like alright bro like I'm yeah. revving up now <laughs> yeah. and I jumped up like bro what is there like you know what's up like cause at this point I feel like y'all 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 just y'all want smoke yeah. and for all of that to happen and nobody was like hey we did this wrong hey like that was crazy nobody took it it was you was wrong cause mm. you stood up so the whole attack process wasn't wrong, but yeah. I was wrong for like, and it's like I hate when somebody just says me for reacting. Mm-hmm. I, if I'm sitting there not saying anything, not trying to be confrontational, and y'all attacking, 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 mm-hmm. laughing, saying certain stuff personally about me, yeah. I'm triggered. Like, all right, what's like, what's up, bro? Like, I'm I'm not gonna talk to y'all. I'm not gonna talk about y'all. I don't talk. Mm-hmm. Like, so I'm mad now. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, well, you stood up, mm. so you the problem. Yeah. I was like, I'll go, <laughs> and I just let like I'm just in there like. I, like crying yeah. like tears falling because i'm like if they understood like i was stressed out with i just was finishing nail school trying to make sure i got that license trying to figure out my next move mm. trying to figure out where i want to live trying to like i was just like this yeah, is my yeah, fresh yeah, start yeah, sure, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. my yeah. mom was crazy I'm like, yeah. these, these bitches <laughs> trigger me right now <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like, oh, like, like if it's like a hawk like got on leash, and I hate that. Like, cause I'm 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 very sweet and calm, and you know I don't let stuff trip. Mm. But I just feel like when I'm overwhelmed, I'm attack, attack, attack. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. What's a movie that you can't watch that get to you? Ooh. Emotional, like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm gonna cry every time. Yeah, every every fucking time, no matter what. You want you want okay, watch it alone? Yeah, shit, give me it. I got two too. Selena. Okay. <laughs> and 
in a temptation. Temptation. Every time Blue. Oh, I miss you, my buddy. <laughs> hey, when nigga went back there get that quick. He get them ribs. The short ribs. Like. He go get. Hey, so I'm going to take the long way. I just, <laughs> take the short way. Nah, take the short way. Because what was the what happened on the long way? I hate to know the story. I just, I just, I just posted on my story. And nigga say, uh, he went back there got those short ribs. What they? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, so what did he drop it on his legs and just burn it? Did he and roll down the stairs? When, you know the side door be right there with when the, the mom and always went back there, nobody screamed like blue. Like, they just like, like dang. They just, like dog, that shit was fucked up. Like hey. niggas on saying movies are triggering, dog. Questions and y'all not giving me the yeah. answers. Blue went right there and died. in that kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> he got so I get them short ribs. Like, hey, I got them short ribs. Like, like what if he was leaning forward to get then he fall in the oven? Like, you gotta tell us what happened. <laughs> oh, right? That's crazy. Nigga, said, nigga tell you, you was like, he went and got them short ribs. And he died. Like, y'all better have put something in the casket with Dog, got them short like, ribs. Just a dog. rib or something in there with I can't watch it. Like that's he did all that to get them. Yeah, I'm gonna go use it. I'm gonna go alone. I'm gonna ruin my point. <laughs> nigga knew he about to die. Like, let me go ahead and get these short ribs. Let me go ahead. I don't want to die in their face. Bro, not right here. Going the long way. Catch me, mommy, in the hallway. Oh, but is that a true story, though? Like, right. It's I know this is a true story, but yeah. they, no, you can't die in the short Because, you know, they like alter how the story really, you know, sometimes they alter. No, you can't die in the short reels, though. Yeah, because you're trying to tell me no ambulance, no nothing came. No, that's it. And then, like I said, the reaction. Yeah, like. like you got to show the mama crying, especially that mama. She it cried. It should have been just like a. Yeah. Like no, they didn't do nothing. Blue. Like, damn blue. That nigga. Like, this is I said, you know, he just had the funeral. Nigga said his legs were sizzling. Duh. Duh. God, rest in peace, blue. Duh. God yeah, damn. Blue. Y'all from Detroit, duh. Right. I can't, like my 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 two is Crooklyn and um and um damn what's that shit? Will Smith, the pursuit of happiness. Mm. That's it. The deep for you. Yeah, yeah. Because like me, and my son at the time before you know, what I'm saying it was together. Like you got to make this shit work. Mm-hmm. It's like damn. When that nigga was in the bathroom, I'm like, oh shit. Like that hurt you. Start crying. That and uh, Malcolm X. I don't know if y'all seen Malcolm mm-hmm. X. He, I did. When he's gonna make that last speech, mm-hmm. and then you know, as Spike Lee, you know how he do the little scenes when you moving but you're not walking, mm-hmm. and you know he about to die. And oh, it's red and so Come on, it's been a long time. Change gonna come. Like, Fast. damn, Malcolm X about to die. Wait, no, you remember when we was kids and mm-hmm. they used to play our friend Martin? Mm-hmm. Remember the cartoon? Mm-hmm. And when he walked in that hotel, then close. What I say? He said, "Oh, Sam, Sam, I'm sorry, dog. You a good person for that, dog. I don't know why the fuck I didn't know. I, I didn't say it right, dog. It's that Duke and Day in it, but now Sam Cook, yeah, yeah, yeah. He take that off, dog. Edit that. Edit that part. <laughs> but yeah, that shit hurt, though. Yeah, on my friend Martin, when they, you know, they show Martin Luther King walking in that hotel yeah. room, and all you hear is that gunshot. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, as a kid, I was in there like, man, man, man you know, for sure. Yeah, Hell, that yeah. was one of them too. Yeah, yeah. But shout out to uh, motherfucking Crooklyn. Yep." And goddamn uh, pursuit of happiness. Like when yeah. life ain't when life is going bad for me, I watch pursuit of happiness because it's like, all right, I can get this shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That nigga trying to sell those little machines and shit in that motherfucker. Doing this big one. Hell yeah, yeah. Sure, trying to do, make it. Do oh, girl, it left him like man. Fuck you. Like you ain't get no money. I'm out. You know. Okay, I'm gonna ask you first. See, yeah. now look, interview being the interviewer being interviewed. <laughs> so I'm like, what's a movie that you not supposed to find funny, but you find it funny? Oh, shit, what's um? I guess t- Titanic. <laughs> nigga, you, nigga, if you don't get her ass out that motherfucking door and get on that motherfucking door, uh, I might be on your motherfucking back too, nigga. We about to be on this bitch together. I ain't about to free for a bitch. I mean, my man, for a chick, I don't know. Like, I just met you. I, I hit. I, I drew a little picture. Of you like nigga, look, look, in the, in the steam. We about to go ahead and flip flop, nigga. But I'm trying to think of one. I just laughed at because nigga was dying. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I laughed at the end of um <laughs> Best Man Holiday when they broke down crying. Like it, it was the breakdown how he was looking. <laughs> so More chest than my, <laughs> that, I laughed. It was the breakdown when he like, ah, like it was just like <laughs> I don't know why I, was, okay, I laughed at the crib. Cause I've been feeling bad because a movie I feel is so serious. Every time I watch it now, it's like Tommy the Gold to me. <laughs> What the, What's love got to do with it? Oh yeah, that's it for him. Yeah. It's not, not supposed to yeah. be funny, but bro, why was Ike acting like that? Yeah, he was still fooling. He was tripping. If yeah. you die, I'll kill you. That's yeah. the craziest shit you can say. <laughs> if no. you die, I'll kill you. Mm-hmm. So you gonna bring me back and do it again? No, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit. That nigga was wilding. He was wilding. He was wilding. I, I was definitely laughing at the end though. When nigga broke down, more yeah. chest up there. Yeah, that's that's. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. Oh, girl was like that. Shit was emotional. Like her dying and shit. Yeah. But it's like when he broke down, it's the way he broke down. 
See, that had me laughing. That's why men don't want to cry. Look at him just laughing no, he, at him. No, I ain't going to laugh at you crying, but it's the way he broke down. <laughs> like, it's just fit, the way he fell on his knees and shit. Like, bro. See? See how that that bad acting? Yeah. That was, bad, that was bad crying right there. That was bad crying. Like, nigga, ain't no bad. That was a terrible crying, dog. That wasn't good enough for you. What's something that you wanted to be that you never told nobody? Oh, a veterinarian. Okay, okay. Why you didn't pursue that? I don't like science. Yeah. Science was my worst subject. Mine too. And then when they did that shit where you had to dissect stuff, I was like, I ain't even cook for this. Yeah. Like, stupid. <laughs> I don't want to cook. Yeah. No. Like, yeah. she brought that fucking starfish in. That was the start. I said, I don't even cook that. Yeah. Then yeah. they brought a frog. All type of, I was like, oh. I was cool with the dissecting part. I couldn't. It was just that mad part that was adding to the science. So like, <laughs> now you testing me there. Now you, now you, now you, <laughs> now I'm, I'm feeling now. <laughs> We get that biology and that chemistry. That's <laughs> too many tests. Now, I'm already fucking flunking in uh, motherfucking algebra. Now you can bring this shit over. Gonna bring it over here? Oh, you you acted different. See, no, math was my strong suit till they start doing bullshit. Mm-hmm. Now they was playing word games. Like, yeah. So if Jimmy went five miles down the road uh, and he only had two tires with a, 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 a amount of no. 50... Uh, no. Makes sense. You get you a kid and they, this new math, that uh, shit, that first grade math is challenging. Nigga, why you want me to show my work for two plus two, nigga? It's four, nigga. We know it. We know it. Like, now I got to show everything. Like, But see, I was, I be, every time I see that too, I'm like, that's how quick they rework. Mm-hmm. Rework yeah. our history. Yep. Like the new generation, everything we know, they not about to know that. It's so different. It's different as hell. Like they can change anything like that. Like that's how I'm like, that's why I question what I know not. Like mm-hmm. y'all changed it probably for me. Yeah. Than what it was. And I, I know. And so when mom was like, oh, it's just new math. I understand that, mom. This this math is new. <laughs> Real new. Nigga, give me a motherfucking answers, nigga. <laughs> don't make so I don't, I don't be struggling with you. <laughs> we both on this test. <laughs> Like, then we both got up soon. I'm sorry. All right. Now I mean you both gotta go to parent teacher conference explain. <laughs> Look and don't know what she's talking about. Like, okay. <laughs> so you spend I Man, it feels stupid when you when we talk to nigga, you be saying okay, but he don't mind. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Say it is- <laughs> like nigga, okay. You know so you got to you ain't even gonna get a whooping because I don't even know. She was yeah. tripping. I understand <laughs> We both can go to school. <laughs> See, right there with you. Right there with you, my boy. No, that's your no, you the homework packets need a motherfucking answer key. Bro, no, remember the books used to. Yeah. The books used to have the answers. I, I miss them books. Bro, when I forgot that last yeah. little couple questions, yeah. I go in the back of that book so fast, it's right. Uh, boy. Damn, that's throwback right there. Spelling words with the books and shit, nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We where you from? You from the East or West? I know you're gonna say West. Side. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck your West Side nigga Diamond. <laughs> Where you from? You know, I'm from the way. <laughs> but uh, like I'm over there, like, you know, off 94. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over in the woods. You okay. Know? Yeah, you yeah, good yeah, there. Yeah. I, Cause my thing is everybody coming to show me from the west side, so I'll be surprised niggas say yeah. east. No. Damn, I should have known you from the east. Still out here. Hell yeah, we had a good yeah. conversation. You got me from the yeah. east. West side people, man, hell yeah. no. They different. Yeah, west side, west side nigga. Yeah. Niggas be quick say four one. Hey, this motherfucker, I'm a Joy Road, nigga. Fuck you. Okay. I love West Side, but fuck y'all, niggas, man. I'm living on West Side. I still be GPS and shit. I'm GPS no matter what. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. need to know just in case a police officer over there, like, let GPS tell me everything. Yeah. Yeah. If you had to tell somebody about your, you know what I'm saying, about yourself mm-hmm. using a song or an album, mm-hmm. what song or album going to tell me about you in this right now? About right now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good question. Come on now. Come on. I told you it's the best podcast. Oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I lie for you, for but, I lie to you. Hey. That's about like right now. <laughs> oh, easy. Yolanda Adams, never give up. Okay. Hell yeah. That's, that makes sense. Heck yeah. Yeah. It's something about that church music that gets to me. Get yeah, all up in here. Start your morning off with it. When I yeah. tell you, cut that Mary, Mary, yeah. go get it on. Yeah. You'll you be ready to make all the money. Yeah, I got to stop. I'll be starting my shit with payroll. <laughs> that hustle music. You be, you be thugging. That's why you be a thug early in the morning. <laughs> Trying to get my shit back. Like, you know, yeah, got to change up a little bit. I be going to work listening to R&B and shit. Like, why the fuck I do that? Like, I don't know. I'm an R&B nigga, though. Same. I love rap, but I'm real. The I'm, R&B do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who your favorite R&B uh? Uh, artist like right right now it's just or in all general. time damn that ooh that hurts that hurts it can be a couple ain't gotta be okay um see ooh they ain't gonna consider him that is he okay alright let me let me go let me go let me go I'm gonna say of course her and Jasmine Sullivan I love her but Erica Badu and Jill Scott are mine oh she did you his friend <laughs> when I, so I just need them one more just yeah. them four 
Put them in a concert together. Just let me let me live. Let me live. For sure. Hell yeah. Everybody do got cakes. Body. Body. And uh, she doing something to the men. They they be yeah, different. They be, like yeah, she, be, she got something yeah, to They get dressed different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when did um, rap become serious for you? Like, this is something that you wanted to do, being an artist. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is crazy. It's a crazy story. So we went to like this trip back in school. I was like middle high school mm-hmm. and we did this college trip. So we would stay on the college campus mm-hmm. and they was having like a talent show. Yeah. So I decided to try to see Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> um, and it didn't go good. Yeah. So like it was girls that didn't like me and they was in the audience. So they was like, oh, they was they took that ring with it. Woo, woo, which is like get so I get off the stage, like mid song, like I ain't even finished the shit. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm breaking like yeah, yeah, them bitches is petty. <laughs> like, fuck them. And then I was like, Can I do another song? And they was like, Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. let you back on. And I cut on Whoop That Trick. Oh, we used to buy that yesterday. And I had a remix for it, and it's called Haters is a Trip. Yeah. And I was just got on that stage, and I'm like, Haters is a trip, right? Hey, this is a trip and I wrapped it everybody ran down like it was a concert yeah. I turned that room up and in that moment let me know I was like somebody fuck with me I'm gonna yeah. spit their ass with bars for sure and yeah, words yeah. kill you boy <laughs> and that's when you became it that's when it became serious like yeah. the music hard then I started up lunchroom battles mm-hmm. cyphers and shit with, with the dudes I'm like for sure. standing yeah. my ground like, Hell yeah. like Hell yeah. yeah what what's some shit that you need to make a good studio session mm. Like just me being in there, like what I need. It, do you need people? Do you need drink? No. Nope. Do you need like dark lights? Like what? What you need to have? Like I'm just gonna be a vibe. Like this is what I need. I need. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna you be a good know, studio, a little time. I just I be zoned out when mm-hmm. I'm in the booth. Mm-hmm. Whatever is happening outside mm-hmm. the booth. Yeah, I'll be. I don't even, you know. So it's like, and sometimes I'll be like, "Oh, I want nobody to come because I want to focus." Mm. And I, you know, but the other times I'm like, people there, it don't face me. Mm. So nah, like I just be, I'll be with it, like yeah. whatever. Yeah. That's not like you tell me pull up to a studio session. Let's do this. Like I'm about to have your verse. Like while I'm there, let's go. Yeah, like yeah. Tap so in. you writing? You come out? The, you 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 a puncher? Like what's crazy is I've been working on it because I always was scared if they asked me to go on a uh, sway <laughs> then they get to like freestyle and I'm like oh nah my boy give me a second let me I mean, I can, let me tell you what you mean okay I got one like you know you know so um, I started talking to rappers and they'd be like just start saying shit and like my boy like even Biddy Biddy is like Biddy Wang he my brody would have me like he'd just start saying random shit he'd be like just jump in breathe, yeah. say some shit like don't think about it just yeah. do it yeah, yeah, and then yeah. the more I started doing I was like oh I can't just spit off the dome say some funny shit but not like you know like uh, don't sure. test me is what yeah. I'm about to tell you because I feel like you won't do it no 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 <laughs> It's always that word. Nigga, huh? nigga, you still do it, nigga. You still not there. Say something right now. Right. Cause you a word and you rap. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga. Like, nigga, like, if I cr- do it, I better be on wild and out getting the chest. Like, <laughs> no, I can put you on the spot. Emma Crabby. <laughs> Make something around with Emma Crabby. Hey, you know, no, that's your funny thing. No, that shit. Niggas gotta have a gift for that shit. Like, just coming out with the boom, 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 boom. But Sway, do we put niggas on? I never forget once. Who was that rapper? That nigga. That nigga had the phone hiding. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga moved it so you see a phone, dog. Who was that, bro? I, I, Cause when you gonna swear, you gotta be prepared. Yeah. Even if it's like you know your mental gotta memorize it though. Yeah. Like You at least gotta have you know yeah. what you're gonna say. For but sure. Yeah. Don't be just. Yeah. Like nigga, no. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Bree Bands, that was that always your rap name when you had some trash before that? Um. <laughs> so, what was it? Uh, I went through some things. Mm. Um, I don't even remember what they were. It was honestly my friend in college. Mm. Like, um, freshman year, we was like, that's when I just f- figured out Instagram. Mm. I didn't even have, like, Instagram before yeah. that. So, like, 2013 freshman year, we like, oh, everybody on Instagram at Easter. Like, I got to get an Instagram. Mm. So, I'm like, what should my name be? And I always would write stuff like Black Barbie or, mm. um, you know, this and that. My friend was like, nah, nah. And I was like, Bree something, Bree this. And she's like, what about Bree Bands? And I'm like, she kind of yeah, that's just so nice. Yeah, yeah. Then like I ran with it, and then it's just like it's been my my thing since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So breathing, man. <laughs> breathing. That's your point. Shot, nigga. I be like, well done, nigga. I'm shot, nigga. I'm shot, just shot. I ain't been on, in the studio in a long time. What? I'm mad that my guests don't never invite me to the studio. Diamond never invite me to the studio. Cause what you what you gonna what you gonna do? You gonna do my alley? I like to I like to be in there. In the, I like to be the atmosphere. You just want to be the atmosphere? Yeah. Okay. Or we, we can do content, nigga. Like, 
All that shit. I just yeah. I like being around. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just be out here, you know. All right. I, look, so what's your availability? So cause when I get to bother you, then you gotta be I work midnight, so just you know what I'm saying. I'm off Thursday nights and shit. This doesn't mean no Thursday and that shit. Mm-hmm. Saturday, I'll be that's family time. Okay. <laughs> Saturday night's family time. Look, bring them with you. Bring <laughs> all the keys. Right? Yeah. We can be that mother looking like, go bring. You, right. you need that shit, cuz high five on all the keys. Yeah, yeah. No, but still, <laughs> no, I, I miss I do miss that shit, but like, I don't know. I guess I wasn't dope. Or I just didn't put enough time into that shit. But I missed the whole studio vibe like I just like sitting there and seeing niggas create facts that should be dope like I don't like seeing niggas trash create but yeah, like, yeah. like this nigga have a hard time you know like I have such like this like when it comes to studio like it's business no matter what and mm-hmm. I I get what you're saying like it's some people I'm like y'all book like one of them damn near whole day half day sessions and I'm yeah. like what the, how the fuck did you still ain't you ain't done yeah. like what did you <laughs> and sometimes I've worked I've seen people where they gotta do it and I'm like they punch every word I'm yeah, like that shit take a long time yeah like bro I'm a one track like yeah. one tr- just straight through no, I saw Ben Seagull do that shit to the end of, to the end of two hours for a verse that's where I'm like what I'm like nah, I don't know about that punch and shit cause niggas say they yeah, punch you but then they don't tell you how they punch mm-hmm. they take a whole day of punch like <laughs> like Sir, when, when you gonna get yeah. back on this? Yeah, like, niggas, niggas, niggas see Lil Wayne or, or Jay Z, but like, oh, I'm a punch. I know, nigga. They, 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 they professionals, nigga. You not ready for y'all? Punch. Niggas punch every bar, nigga. Like, right. High sound, nigga. Like, you are not Mayweather. Go sit down. Now you got you got singles. Yeah. When you plan on dropping the uh, the project, I'm Talk to I'm, them, I'm gonna take it. You know, the beginning like 2025. Mm-hmm. I think like some New Year New Me shit will mm-hmm. be that. Yeah, for sure. You know, Hell yeah. so. I'm 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 am I'm gonna do that like so, beginning. So I'm gonna call you out if I don't see it. Oh no, you I feel that I feel that. I'm, sorry, I'm gonna say call niggas out. Though. <laughs> No, I need to be no, on podcast. No. I got an album dropping, podcast dropping. No. I be waiting and shit like damn. When I tell you, when I do, I'm be like, I gotta be back. Yeah. I gotta bring me back. It ain't gonna take four years again this time. No, so. no, no. Please don't. <laughs> please don't wait until you know what I'm saying the 2028 right. and respond back to me and shit. Though. DM me, asked me in January about my my album, didn't he? Now you know I always. Of course, I listen to music and shit because I don't like having this, this trash ass niggas come on the show and shit. But what did you mean on the A by remix when you said little dick ass nigga ain't got nothing to measure? She be bumping coochie. Coochie's with him. He a bitch for the record. Yeah. <laughs> that shit got me a little ass. Pause though, but y'all bumping clips and shit. Yeah, you like, like, you a nigga is crazy though. Like you, y'all, you see how they be sending them little shits in that DM, right? Trying to prove their point. But the ones that don't send nothing. Yeah. And we catch y'all slipping, and y'all, yeah, I'll give you this big, big, and then you whip out little, little. See, that's why you can't see you my, be bumping my thing, coochie. That's like when you're a rapper. Don't ever sell yourself too high Mm-mm. or too low. You stay in the middle. Like you just poke in a hole. You Don't surprise like nobody. Like, Let them be like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Like, I'll be like, you, be like, you rap? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. So then you ain't got you no You ain't got to prove nothing. Exactly. Like, it ain't too hard. So I come crazy. Oh, this nigga hard. Or if I come, you know what I'm saying, trash. Oh, he said he was okay. Right. He said that. I, I Niggas, that. stop selling yourself. So Don't like, go so high. You know what I'm saying? With everything. Yeah, because I'll be like, you know what? you? I, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm decent. Yeah, like, I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm real. <laughs> and then I get number. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, you go yeah, ahead. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> get that king. My nigga be selling that king and shit. That's a little enhancement pill and shit. <laughs> get it topic. Shout out to my nigga Deshaun, though. No, no shout out. <laughs> he be selling that shit, though. So he got the king and queen, though. So the king pill is to get us going, you know what I'm saying? Get us saluting. That don't matter if it's That queen, I, I guess it don't matter. But. <laughs> Just a hard clip. Look at dumb little nub. All right, well, right. see y'all looking like you trying to shoot a gun, bitch, dumbass. But the queen, that's to keep y'all shit. You know what I'm saying? That, wet. Yeah. So when that king meet that queen, I mean, the king should know how to get the queen wet, regardless. Yeah, I guess. See, if you gotta take a pill for it, no, I'm not saying I do. That's I'm saying, not- oh. <laughs> I'm not me. In general, not, not I. You can touch my kneecap in my. It's gonna be on popping. <laughs> when we get older, when you got like, I'm like, damn. Like, when you get old, you gotta get, you know, what I'm saying, take pills or you gotta get a move and shit like I said, kneecap. Oh, are you ready for this? All right, man. Like that's crazy. <laughs> Well, my, shout out to my nigga He be signing the king and shit The king okay. and queen You know what I'm saying For the girls that don't get too wet yeah. The nigga don't get too hard Y'all For the me- girls that we We faking it for them Get that Get that queen pill 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that's us thing, huh? Niggas be faking, huh? We we love y'all. We do yeah. we do some some shit yeah. for y'all. Yeah, that shit got hurt. So and then when we break up, oh y'all don't know. But why do why do women do that? Why do women gotta tell you the truth after the breakup? Because why do you guys say gonna hurt you in the moment? I tell me the truth off top. No, because then I don't know what that's gonna do to you. Yeah. You ain't gonna want to. What if you ain't gonna want to have sex no more? Because mm-hmm. I done told you you ain't really. What I mean, you, what can you do about that? You can't like go get a surgery and extend it. <laughs> I guess not. I guess you you can't do that part, but practice made perfect. The size you can't. I'm not size. We we not talking about size no more though. <laughs> we good. We good on that. But that's the only thing we want to. Lie. I mean, unless you were quicker. Yeah, but you know yeah. that's when you nigga got blaming on you. He was just too good. That's what y'all be doing. He was too good. You was girl. He was too good. You gotta know what I'm saying. But you gotta know, how, nigga, yeah. You gotta know how to do uh-huh. everything and shit. I heard that. You know what I'm saying, girl. You was too good before. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of time. Yeah. time Fifty time. Twenty yeah. time. <laughs> hey, my my very first time I called my brother like, dog, this shit was quick. I knew you was too excited. I was happy. I was hyped. Like, it about to happen. Hell yeah! I can't wait. Yeah, that shit was, I'm like, damn, that shit was. That was pretty quick. You was feeling like cold. Like it was it quick. I hope I don't bust quick. Yeah. Like, I, I did. I was so quick and she thought she was still a virgin. Didn't take nothing. I called my brother like, dog, what happened? I knew you was just too excited, dog. Just, he was just relax. Too happy. I'm like, all right. When I took that advice. It, it was a little better. Change the game. Yeah, yeah, it was a it was a game changer. That's why y'all be doing that dumb shit where y'all be trying to act like y'all need to take a little breaky break, doing position changes and take your sweet Jesus time changing. No, yeah, you gotta like, and, and flip, 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 flip. Yeah, like Kevin Hart said, nigga, I'm gonna give you eight positions yeah, in two minutes. Man. You be like, you be like, yeah, yeah. This nigga put me on roller coaster ride. <laughs> Speaking of that, it ain't my fault. You said yeah. uh, Arch in my smile I be throwing it back, even if it ain't the biggest. He be loving his ass. Yeah, you talk about that shit a little bit. Yeah, this booty, yeah. <laughs> this booty duty. <laughs> you know, it ain't like you know, like the girls in the industry, but you know, you ain't gonna have no problems with it. You still gonna love it. Well, you see that though, like the girls like be, you know, what I'm saying doing what they gotta do, and you know, what I'm saying for the sex appeal and shit, you know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. that enhancing that's going to get surgery and shit. Do you feel like oh, I got to I'm out to this shit or I got it equal to this shit. I ain't gonna lie. It's a it's a 50 50 battle sometimes because mm. you you we know in the game when it comes to the women's sex sales, you yeah. know. But then you also be like, you see so much and people be like, damn, everybody look alike, everybody sound like everybody. Yeah. So you be like, well, let me just present myself and then we'll go from there, mm-hmm. you know. Like, mm-hmm. I don't really think it's nothing me like other people can say to want me to change, but it's stuff for me personally I would want to so, change. Yeah. Speaking but, of that, uh, so on door, you say everybody. Mm-hmm. What's something that you tired of everybody doing? I'm tired of everybody just like geeking up some whack ass rappers. Yeah. Y'all really just be pushing people because it's a trend. Like, but they're not doing nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of everybody just like supporting the the people because oh it is it, they own they did no like yeah. be real like that's why the music ain't what it what it used to be that's why it ain't no versatility mm-hmm. in the game no more so it's like nah nah, nah. Sure. hell yeah hell yeah I could have made it easy but I made it the harder way I'm mad mm-hmm. what's some shit that you feel like you could have made it easy but you just took the hard approach and it shit just it, it was a struggle like my my brother always say like nigga you make everything fucking hard mm-hmm. like nigga you could just did this shit but nigga, you had to go the hard way. What's some shit like that for you? Mm. Break it down your bars. I, <laughs> I mean, honestly. Because you're thinking. Yeah, because Think. like, what what, what did I do the hard way instead of going the easy way? Yeah, I, like, it, it could be like you going to Atlanta. Like, that was a hard way. You could. I don't even think. No, that was honestly easy. Mm-hmm. It was before that was hard. The yeah. mental game, like, not. Like holding myself back, that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> but the, when it was time to go, oh, that was easy. <laughs> no sure. questions asked. Hell yeah. But um, say, oh, okay, okay, I, yeah, I, I got you, I got you. Okay, sure. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, my breakup game is crazy. Yeah. Like, I, I like it's it, that you would think that's easy, mm-hmm. but it's not. But I leave in silence. Yeah, yeah. So you don't say shit. You don't say shit. You ain't even gonna know. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me get this right. We together for a couple of years. You gonna just leave in silence? Like you ain't gonna say shit. You would know. You yeah. should know that yeah. this ain't that no more. We ain't there. Damn. What's what's longest relationship you had? Man. <laughs> longest relationship or situationship? Whichever one. <laughs> situationship ain't bad. It is when it's <laughs> like you just, you know, like you you be in a person's life for like 10 plus years and yeah. you all don't go nowhere. That's, yeah. that's weird. Yeah. Like that means it's like. Somebody yeah. got an outside relationship. <laughs> yeah. We got this. 
situation yeah. and they ain't doing nothing. We ain't gonna be married. We ain't gonna have kids. We ain't a family. Like, yeah. you know, you grow out of that. You yeah, for sure. I don't know how I even feel to even try to talk game to a chick. It's been so long. You don't know it's crazy. I feel more confident in saying something. <laughs> somebody saying something. To me. Man. I'm, I'm dumb. I don't yeah. know when somebody flirting. So I, I'm just so nice to everybody. I'd be yeah. like, oh, you just being nice, and they be like, yeah, like yeah. I like you. I'm yeah. like, you do? Like yeah. I, why? Yeah, why? Why you like me? Why? <laughs> Tell me why. No. What are you doing? Man. Now, man, you said cha cha electric. I ain't letting it slide. Mm-hmm. What's some shit that you um, you not letting? Slide, not letting that shit. It ain't no, it ain't, it ain't happening like that. Disrespect. Mm-hmm. I'm not tolerating it no more. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. I feel like I, I always be like, I love so hard that I be like, oh, okay, we can work through that. Yeah, uh, yeah. You got one time, you gotta go. Yeah, for sure. Energy, you ain't shifting my energy. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. He said, nigga always come around just offering dick. Nigga, where head at? I'll be saying shit. Wait, 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 wait. You should go. Nigga, I'm about to, nigga, hell no. You got to get this little head gang going. Like, like, give me a little split in back. <laughs> you know, a little lickety on the clickety. Yeah. Oh, so you know, nigga, you understand that? You got to, you know, say head gang right and shit. Yeah, you, know, you know, whatever, whatever, what, 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 what. Yeah. Something going on. You yeah, got to yeah. know what else you can do. For sure. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Is that, is that like something that you like, if nigga ain't trying to do that shit or ain't doing it right, that's a, that's a turn off? Nah, you could, you could teach him. Mm-hmm. You can teach them on head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you can teach them on head. <laughs> you can learn. You can learn to raise. Because this, y'all problem is, y'all don't realize women's bodies different. Mm-hmm. It ain't that you're not good. It's just you're not doing it per sure. my body. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You probably sure. killed a bitch with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, but you got to you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm alive still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> still fully breathing. <laughs> I ain't the first time I ain't ass, nigga. <laughs> That shit was different, nigga. It was COVID, nigga. It was COVID. You gonna eat ass and COVID? Look, we married, nigga. Okay. We married, yeah, okay. Nigga. So yeah, we, we, we was at home too long, so I, we had to start trying new shit. Y'all you know what I'm saying? Spicy man. relationship, but we, 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 we at home 24 hours, nigga. That was, that's, that's, with that. so we, came, okay, who came up with it? What? It's just, you know, just so happened to just, I just happened, so happened to do it. <laughs> Just to see, like, what was going to happen, like... Just so having to do yeah, it. Just... What should this be about? Like, you know, with COVID, niggas were trying shit. Niggas were trying PP, PP, the PP, uh, whatever that shit was. PP long. You, they were trying PP long, you were trying to booty. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, niggas trying, niggas trying to be 2B actors, niggas trying to rap, mm-hmm. niggas trying to start LLLLLC. Just doing all of it. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to try some booty, nigga. And see how it is. We ain't never did this before. Well, yeah, because COVID brought a different side of niggas, though, like, uh, uh, everybody. We had nothing to do. Like, we, we had nothing to do. Being creative. We was just sitting at the crib. Shit, like, doing shit. Let's see what it be like. Shit, let's see. You couldn't do no role play. You just had to go straight for booty. Huh? Yeah, I'm like, all right, all right. Fuck it. I ain't. Like, I don't think niggas is crazy when they eat random ass. Like, yeah, random yeah. ass eating is crazy. Like, you gotta get to know. This. You gotta get to know. Your person before you just eat you random ass. They wiping. Yeah, like, exactly. Why you got shit in your motherfucker? Hey, you just licking on turds and shit. But damn, you got a little, you got a little spot up there. Like it's a turd that, from shit. Like boy, you better. Oh, I think it's full. Then, like, ima- like okay, imagine you let some, as a female, you let somebody do it. Like you know your booty hole. Like yeah. bro, yeah, you go to the bathroom. Yeah, go, go, like, go wash that's yourself, weird, bro. Like come yeah. on, I, and I wouldn't even want you to like. I know it could be clean, but still, here go the mouthwash for you. You try to kiss me, Or like, if you mm. want to go. Booty, you ain't kiss me no more today. Man. That's it. You're done. I'll talk to you tomorrow. It's your booty, though. It's, but it's booty. I don't want to know why. Like you, every you ain't gonna come to me like I just want to eat your booty. Nah, nah, nah. You you surrendered that tongue hey. and this booty hole so fast. You Kobe had, that. Kobe had niggas going crazy. They was finding anything. Kobe had niggas going crazy. I'm wow. not even on the booty. I'm just saying like just in general, they was going crazy on Kobe. Like, Kobe was a time that Kobe was a good time. Like you was hanging with family. No, I'm, I'm just saying. Like I'm saying, like Kobe had you really engaging with your with your peoples, your family and shit. Like okay. niggas really getting together. Like Tapped yeah, t- like didn't come over. I, I don't know how to barbecue doing Kobe. Hell no, my mom was. Don't you come to this house? She Duh. put a sign on the door and everything. Listen, my wife, her mom and um, pops was. We was coming over there, but we had to sit in the lawn. Or we was on the grass, and they was on the porch. We was having conversations like distance away, I'm like bro. You know we ain't got no fucking COVID, dog. Like that, no, my mama would talk to us through the door. All right, this nigga, her dad. Up this nigga had, put it on the porch. This nigga had goggles. <laughs> this nigga had gloves. This nigga got so bad his goggles got fogged up, so he crashed the car to a tree. 
That nigga was fooling. He was serious. Fooling. Yeah, no. To this day, this nigga still... Niggas was spraying down at groceries. Remember that shit? Yes. Bro. Because when people was at the stove, just still coughing and touching stuff. Like, yeah. you gonna bring it home. Then they was telling us they live on the surface. Yeah. You don't know what to exactly. do. Exactly. I had to make a mask out of my son's sock. Because niggas was... Niggas, mask was going, was going quick. Nigga, yeah. like, you had to find a way to create a mask. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that bitch using white tighties and shit. Everything. I don't care. Just so, put it on your face. So with your project, you said top of the year. You mm -hmm. got any names? Is it going to be an EP? Is it going to be an album? Yeah, it's going to be an EP. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to call it the rebrand. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. What, what's something that you want to get from this project? Because uh, you actually be dropping singles. Mm -hmm. Like, is it something that you like, I want to get, you know what I'm saying, just get some extra looks? You want to get, you know what I'm saying, a deal? You want to get recognized a little bit more? Like, Yeah, I definitely feel like it's that time to get noticed, get, you know, like mm -hmm. you said, flowers. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I ain't going to say... um been in here the game the longest I'm not like that type of flowers but to say like you 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 won you yeah, won that got it sure. you got the potential like and if you was in a space in a place to like really flourish you would mm -hmm. like you would blow yeah. so it's like now I'm like let me put myself in that space sure, let me yeah. let me be in that room so I gotta ask though like when did you discover like your sound your voice cause you know you figuring shit out when you rapping and shit like that like you know what I'm saying like I see you can switch up just on that little you know what I'm saying freestyle right there like yeah. when did you discover your voice like alright this is what I'm gonna go with this this is it yo like to be like quite honest I avoided doing music like for real because I hated my voice mm -hmm. I always was I like shit, why? Yeah, like it was I different then it. Like, it. it was like I didn't know how to like control it mm -hmm. so it was like when I would rap I was still high yeah. so I sounded like ah, <laughs> like it wasn't doing no shit look how I rap Look, yeah. Like it, it got to be aggressive. So what I heard in my head, I wasn't able to do. Sure. Yeah, and yeah, then fast. once I started getting in the studio and I could hear myself, I, I listened to myself in the car, put my headphones in, play it through the phone. I'm like, I can hear. Yeah, it. Yeah, I start yeah, yeah. training. I'm like, go lower. Yeah, talk yeah. here. Talk For sure. here. No, fast, fast. <laughs> That's what you, you got. You got to understand your your tone. Yeah. Your, your voice, everything. Like you know, what I'm saying rap too fast or rap too slow. Yeah. When to do that? Like niggas be rapping like. You got to understand your, your, your style. Facts. Niggas don't be understanding that shit. Like, and you got to work on that shit at the crib. Facts. So when you go to the studio, you ain't wasting motherfucking hours and Never. shit. Never. Like, you, like, I don't get how people go in the studio, pay for that shit, yeah. and waste that. Yeah. Like, I go ready. Like, I work with Big Chris. Shout out to Big Chris at Get Fresh Studios. That's, mm. that's, that's, that's where I'm going to be. That's my engineer. Like, that's who I fuck with. That's who I work with. So tap in with him. He know. He like, you the, you for, like, it's such a fresh, like, yeah. like fresh breath to work with you. Cause he like, you, you literally come in here ready. Yeah, He's like, sure. you don't even do multiple takes. You like one take. Hell it's yeah. like the take, yeah, ad lib, yeah. you know, ins and outs. And then next song. For sure. For sure. Yeah. What's some young nigga shit versus some shit you've been through? What's some shit that young Bree was, was doing that you don't agree with right now as an older Bree? Uh, to be real, young Bree used to connect and it, this here we go we getting real again it's that personal shit, again man. Get, real. Get, deep. get that shit young Bree used to associate like sex for love mm -hmm. so it was like in those moments I'm like oh yeah like love like mm -hmm. we love each other and then I started using that like I'm gonna make you love me yeah. with my body yeah. but it's like now I'm like I'm so reserved I'm like don't mm -mm. For sure. the energies and all that like don't touch me mm -hmm. like now nah, I would mm -mm. Yeah, keep yeah. your distance and it's like knowing now like you could peep it before you even get to that point you mm -hmm. could peep whether a person is right for you or not sure. before yeah, yeah. you know yeah. I forgot about that Demani line of shit you said shit you know what I'm saying money. but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I want them. Yeah, hey, I peeped. I peeped. I peeped. Pee, pee. You look happy in that picture too. I I like it. I like hey, it. Jimmy. <laughs> I, I might be out with Coco Jones and shit. Like, damn, Coco Jones right here. I feel that. I'm married, but you, she, you look good. Nice little chocolate to you. Yeah, love it. It's probably smell good too. <laughs> smell like honey Hell, yeah. and vanilla. Um, making a band. Did he going through his shit right now? But. Still, you know about making the band. Yeah. If you had to make your making a band album, you and four other people, mm -hmm. who would it be? Now I'm gonna give you two two different albums. Okay. I'm gonna give you the the industry, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna give you a local shit too. Okay. So your Detroit shit, you and four other people, and then your industry, you and four other people. It could be rappers, singers, producers, but this is gonna make your album you and four other people. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start with the uh, local. Local. Okay. Uh for sure. Detroit Diamond. Oh, who's she? 
I've been shouting to Detroit down my for a long time, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, go always go crazy. Yeah. Always deliver. Like, we 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 for right sure. here with each other. So, yeah, yeah we yeah. always do some crazy. Right. We actually got a single to, you know, coming, y'all. <laughs> that boy gonna be crazy. And it's gonna be on the project. For so. sure. Hell yeah. Hey, Stay so tuned, but uh, Detroit Diamond. Diamond. Yep, Biddy Wang, my okay. boy Biddy. He bring a different style, so I I, I want to you know for sure. That's add three. a little dancing and and party into the to the project. Hell yeah, um, got two more, two more, and a local. Mm-hmm. I want to do something with Rocky. Okay, I I do I do want to work with Rocky. I do want to uh, you know, Rocky. Look. You spin me. You spin me. Please, oh. she spin me. Oh. I was on my way to the podcast. She spin me. Damn. But go ahead. Oh, I missed. Mean, I don't know. You know, it's like, I was just thinking girl power, you know. No, she cool though. She, she, she good, good music, but you, yeah, you spin me. It's okay. all good. I ain't, gonna, then, I ain't tripping. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what, whoever, who else could bring another vibe Last that but I not least. with. Hmm. Oh. I will rock with Costa Rica. Okay. She, oh, yeah, yeah. That's she my nigga. Yeah. yeah she cool. Like, me, and me and her went to school together, so I, you know, but I didn't even know she was a rapper, rapper like that, but the girl. You went uh, Huh? You went Essie? Nah, CPA. Oh, that's when you got kicked yeah, out of shit, Southeast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, but I ain't even touched Southeastern. I've never been there. Never. Yeah, <laughs> no, no shades of Southeastern. I don't I'm, 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 I'm 30, 30. I'm, 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 I'm nobody I'm, jumping. Yeah, that's me. That's me. I'm 30. Yeah. Yeah. South Southeastern. Yeah. Old folks. I'm old. Yeah, but Costa Rica too. Like she, she cool. She, she cool. Yeah. Cool. And, and she, like I said, I like her style too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Costa Rica. What mm-hmm. up, though? See, I had you on the show, man. I always get niggas on the show first. So that's your industry shit. Mm-hmm. Give me your local shit. Yeah. Give me your industry side. You and four other people. My industry. Ooh. Money. Shut up. I said it. So I mean, I, we can work, but. Oh, you say you want to fuck the work. No, no. I, I mean, want to work. Yeah, work. She ain't that work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like, no, no, I'm not. Um, but, um, so, yeah, yeah. But if we was doing a project industry wise, yeah. I definitely. I want to go big. Like, I want to do a song with Chris Brown. All right. I think that'd be crazy. Chris Brown already got some dope shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, and he's so versatile. Yeah. So, you know, he could sing, he could, he could do it all. For so, sure. that'd be just easy. I fuck with that. Um, I want to do something with, like, I, it's between the two, but Jasmine Sullivan and her. I, okay. I want that R&B on there. Yeah. I just don't know which, you know. Yeah. But I will fuck with them. You can't go wrong with either one. I couldn't, you no. know, like, but I would love to get that soulful. On it, mm-hmm. my woman. Mm-hmm. And then uh, brings. Uh, again, the, I was gonna get to that on the finale. You gotta look. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta end it right. I don't want to start with that. Stirring the finale. Product. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then let me think. I want to do something with Meg. Okay. Yes, I will. I'll sure. do. I want to yeah. go crazy with Meg and like my like hit. Like I know it. Like like I, Missy Elliott. For sure. That's yeah, my yeah. idol. That's yeah. like my motivation for why I'm a rapper. Like that's my she who like who I desire an image coming mm-hmm. from. Like be fun with your lyrics. Be Hell fun yeah. with your you know image. All Hell that. yeah. Like, no, for sure. For sure. Hell yeah. That's yeah. that's double shit. So, What's something you would change now with the way you started this rap shit? Like, is there anything that you look back like, damn, I would have did this different on my mm-hmm. approach? Mm-hmm. Was that um I would have been way more assertive. Mm. Cause um, it's been times like I it was a point where I was like when I worked at T Mobile, like Peasy used to come in there mm-hmm. and I would always help him with with his phones and shit. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, you know, like whenever this people we'll call me, yeah, not bro. Was that moment where you t- yeah. with Peasy? What is you doing? Like and did it. Like it's yeah, the little yeah. stuff where I'm like you, you, or I be in a room and it's like if you if you would have said something, sure, yeah, you yeah. know it would have been different. You gotta like, go ahead, and yeah, take this right now. It. Like take yeah. advantage of every opportunity. Yeah. Now we do everything at the end. We do a little funny little segment. Mm-hmm. What's worse? What's worse? Okay. F- uh, damn, I don't knock some shit down. That's worse. But <laughs> what's worse? Forgetting your bars on stage mm-hmm. or fuck up in studio? Forgetting your bars on stage. Yeah. Cause it's a, it's who depending on your crowd like right. level like your fan base at that time it could be cool yeah. you could forget and put the mic up and let them sing that shit yeah. you know rap sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. you can get away with it yeah, yeah. but if you ain't even got a fan base and you forget they about to they about to get your ass yeah, yeah. Like, you done <laughs> yeah, but in the studio I mean all they gonna do is cut it and start it over mm-hmm. you know it's been times where my breath. I have breath placements. Hmm. If I forget to take that breath, yeah, I ain't got it. Yeah. I ain't got it. So I'll be looking at him like, can you start yeah. over? What, I'm sorry. What's worse? Find find out your ex was a hoe before or after you? After. 
Okay, for sure, for sure. I'm like, damn, you yeah. just, you went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My ex was, he ended up having kids, twins too. Damn. Like Shout four kids after me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just shade it. <laughs> What's worse, titties with no nipples or nipples with no titties? Titties with no nipples. That's gonna scare me. Yeah. <laughs> what you do? Because there's no sensor spot yeah. in the yeah, yeah. spot now. Just it, no. No, you like, get flat chest. Yeah, um, with nipples. nipples out and shit. Yeah, even though yeah, I'm no, my mama gonna watch this. I'll be quiet. <laughs> What's worse, no car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib? Mm-hmm. Say that one more time. What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, no car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib? <laughs> What's, which one worse? Say nice, nice. This worse? Yeah, what's, what, which one worse? Having a nice car, no crib. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had to think about it. I'm like, hmm. but then I'm like, I'm t- I'm thinking about spending night, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse, dying from getting showered, dying from getting stabbed? Stabbed. Yeah, yeah, like you. That's personal. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it, that's like, boy, what yeah. you got to put force? And what if they don't force it right the first time? Exactly. So get- <laughs> what if they turn it and you? Nigga. <laughs> you already got me. Like, What's yeah. worse? You got a kid and you ain't got no money for Christmas, or you got a kid and you got no money for their birthday? Mm. You, you, you a kid, you got money for Christmas. Yeah. You got a kid. Because oh, you can make that shit up. Yeah, yeah, you can do something. They'd be like, okay, but Christmas, they expect Yeah, because you going back to school and niggas talking about what they got for, their Christ- for Christmas, and you're like, yeah, I ain't got no, nothing. Yeah, we ain't getting no Christmas presents. Yeah, birthday shit, if, especially if you're in summertime. Yeah, and then you can't even ignore that because you know they're going to play all the Christmas new, uh, movies, exactly. and the kids going to see. Ain't nothing like you being broke walking to. Walmart or Target and they listen to that Christmas music. You ain't got shit. To, you, you can't. And you can't buy shit for your family. Have a holly jolly. Yeah. <laughs> shit, holly you jolly right you can't now. Buy shit. <laughs> no. What's worse? Find out your parents aren't your real parents, or find out your siblings are adopted. Find out my parents are my parents. Yeah. That would. Ooh. Because you, yeah. you don't know you now. For sure. No. Like no shade, but you don't know you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, my siblings being adopted. I'm like, well, I already accepted you, motherfucker. So yeah, I'm. Sure. Like, Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. What's worse? Find out. Find out your mate cheating through text or in action. Action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 You did it, did yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Like, like if I seen them type shit, or like they did something, they was cheating in like physical. Yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, like that. Yeah, yeah. What's worse, <laughs> catching your mate beating off, <laughs> or your mate catching you beating off? Neither. Uh, both of them cool, huh? Yeah. Like I'm yeah. like, what you doing? But you got to <laughs> sneak that little jack off real quick. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I thought I'd act like that because yeah. I, I was not in it. I wasn't in the, in the mood. So Damn. he had a little pussy pocket, a pocket pussy. Oh, shit. Yeah. I never been seen one of those. You're not, bro. I, yeah. Nobody, I never seen yeah, one. Yeah, they yeah. real. What's worse, running from a fight or getting knocked out? Ooh. Getting knocked out. Yeah. Because me running, you don't know what I'm running for. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I could have seen something that, you know, that looked like a gun. Like, yeah. I got to run. Like, for why sure. would I just sit there and get shot? Like, for sure, for yeah. sure. Last one is um, losing your ex to your homegirl. I mean, lo- no, losing your man to your homegirl mm-hmm. or losing your man to your ex. <laughs> <laughs> Because that, that's your current man, right? To the homegirl. So, yeah, your man, you lose him to your homegirl or you lose him to your ex-boyfriend? <laughs> well, my homegirl is a nigga. No, hell no, hell no. Okay, uh, yeah, to my ex, that's that's crazy. My that, ex. That's wild. Yeah, because like, then? Yeah. Um, All right, th- th- this is another one. Boom. Yeah, that's your bad. But losing to your another nigga is, is worse. Yeah, but then, right. oh yeah, my, it depend on homegirl. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Too early, too late, or right on time. Sex. <laughs> First time you had sex, was it too early, too late, or right on time? Mm, I said for me now, thinking about it, too early. Okay, okay. Figuring out life, too early, too late, or right on time? Ooh, a, a little, a little too late. 
Okay, okay, yeah, okay. A little bit. Moving out of your parents' house too early, too late, or right on time? Right on time. For sure, for sure. Yeah. First relationship? In the third grade. <laughs> <laughs> Had my little move back then. That's <laughs> Shout out to Dominique and shit. We was kissing in kindergarten. I swear, I ain't been in a relationship for real since then. No, plain as hell, bro. Plain as hell, hell no. Yeah. Um, first job. Right on time. All right, leaving a messed up relationship. Too late. Too motherfucking late. All right, starting music. Too late. Too late? Too Damn. Late. Your first album coming out next year. Was it too late? Too early, right? Right on time. For sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You a dope person, even though you responded four years later. You know, but I responded. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It, it happened. <laughs> yeah. It happened. You ain't wait. You ain't wait. You ain't wait. Yeah. But anything you want to leave people with, off with, any motivational words, anything you want, encouragement, encouragement? Yes, yes. So, to all the artists out there, to the young girls, to the young guys, to everybody, honestly, like whatever your dreams and your passions in life is, chase it. Mm -hmm. Don't live in a space in this bubble of fear. Do not let fear dictate you. Don't let other people's thoughts, they comments, they anything dictate what you decide to do for you. Find out who you are and run with it. For sure. Hell yeah. yeah. Give me your top three childhood crushes. My childhood crush? Yeah, your top three though. Oh, okay. You was a child. Well, oh, when I was a child, child. Mm. Middle school, high school. Okay. That, all in that time frame? Okay. Because well, yep. I got some off ones, but you, you know. <laughs> not, uh, not Craig and them. <laughs> DeMario and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, um, so uh, I had <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Yeah. My mama know the truth. Um, but yeah, so I would say first, I had like an obsession with um what's his name? Uh oh, what's um what's the what's the uh Denise from Cosby her her man? Oh, oh man. Oh uh the nigga was in the army, navy. Uh yeah, what's yeah, what's the uh what was that nigga name? John? No, it's not John. What is it? What's his name with the hair? And he was in John's the family. No, the the white man. Like her man man, her real one. He Aquaman. Oh, Jason Mahoney. Yes. Her real, her oh, in real yeah. life. Okay, okay. Because okay, when okay. I watched that uh, Johnson's Family Vacation, he did that point. Yeah. Oh, I want to. I like talking about her man on Cosby. No, no. <laughs> that nigga, like, damn, he's wild. Then I had like a weird crush obsession with Jeff Hardy. Okay. I was a wrestling kid, and I loved. Jeff I can tell from that one, that one yeah, song. You yes, and yeah. I met him and Matt this year, and I, oh, bro, I was uh, crying. Yeah, the Hardy bro the brothers. The Hardy boys is hard. The Hardy, Hardy boys. Yes. Yeah, I said brothers. And last, no, I can't believe I can't believe he said Matt Hardy. Jeff. Jeff Hardy. I can't believe you said Jeff Hardy. You a first person to say wrestler. I had somebody say anime character. But you a person. No, because if I would have really got to go off, then I would have added the, uh, the Usos in there too. Yeah. Like, and would have let both of them. So, like, they fine. So who's... Man, the whole family. The Rock, all of them. <laughs> Roman Reigns. Rock, he should probably even could have got it at this point. They all fine. Like, they ain't need no ugly person in their family. I'm just saying. That's crazy. They wouldn't even want me in the family. Yeah, these new wrestlers are these little chicks out here thick fine. as hell. Like, what y'all doing? These thick ass wrestlers out here. Like, little yeah, female. Jay, uh, yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, buddy. Yeah, it's a couple, it's a couple oh, of but, WWE. Yeah, yeah shout out to y'all. Have yeah. me on there when I'm beat. Yeah, come on, show yeah, me. Yeah, come yeah, on, talk yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> Vince McMahon, you got to get on here. Tell me the truth. Hey, I got to watch the rest of that documentary, too. Facts. And uh, my last one, I had this big crush for Michelle Rodriguez. Okay, okay, okay. From and, Fast and Furious. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I, was, yeah, I, I got a crush on her, too. Yeah. She was badass. Vin right. Diesel could have shared. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to Topanga. That was my little crush chick. Go, hell yeah. Topanga. Topanga. Oh my God. Everybody Topanga, uh, Zaria off of Parenthood and uh, Tiffany off of uh, uh, In the House. She a crackhead crack now, though. She, but Tiffany, though, oh, hell, hell yeah. yeah. First, oh, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Tiffany and uh, Ashley Banks, too. Oh, yeah. So yeah. not Hillary. No, no, Ashley. Uh, Hillary was nice, but Ashley was my. Ashley was yeah, the one. Yeah, sure. Hell yeah. That's why I knew I love dark skinned girls. Uh, Hillary and Ash, um, T Tiffany was dark skinned for real. Mm -hmm. And an old girl for a belly and shit, uh, Keisha. Uh, not, not Keisha. Especially when she was sweating and shit a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> the sweat, too. You got to be sweaty. Yeah. You got to bring sweat. Hell yeah. Uh, tell everybody where you can find your social media, where you can find the music, all that good shit, man. Big, big facts. Yeah, yeah. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Bree Bands, B R double I. B A N D double S because I do everything two times bigger. Yeah. And I'm on Apple Music, YouTube, all that. Y'all can yeah, find yeah. me on all And the project is dropping in 2025, yeah, early, middle, or late. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all about we, that early, boy. Okay, we put pressure on you. So you know, early that's that's January, February, March. March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first quarter. Yeah, I'm not gonna cap. Normally for my grandma's birthday, mm-hmm. I always like to do something. That'll okay. literally be April 1st. For sure. So. Hell yeah, hell. Don't fool us. Yeah, you know? I yeah, never, yeah. I ain't gonna never act a fool. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> hey, you already know, man. This is Shoppers Everybody Podcast, episode two, goddamn 11. <laughs> Bree Bands in this motherfucker, man. Best podcast in the city. If you think different, then you motherfucker, you on drugs, nigga. Fuck yeah. Yeah, we out this motherfucker, dog. Get your nails done by her and shit. Period. Bougie grippers on them. Hey.